Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Mount Carmel Area High School Red Tornado Football. Tonight, District 4 playoff action from Montoursville. And Wayne, it is playoff weather. It's raining, <laughs> it's snowing, it's blowing out here. It's everything you want in November for playoff weather. It promises to be a yeah, humdinger out here tonight. Yeah, this is this is a game, uh, probably the two best uh, teams coming out of District 4, uh, Montoursville and the Tornadoes. And, uh, you know, this is the type of game here that you want to let it all out in the field. There's no going home no. after this. This nope, is it. This is you, it. You don't walk away with a big W. Uh, this is a new season. The new season is you win, you go on, you lose, you go home. And, uh, you know, it's not the greatest uh, conditions to be playing this game, especially after the regular season. We saw some very nice football yeah. season yep. uh, weather this year. But uh, right now it's it's a little going to be mucky out there on the field. And uh, we're wearing white uniforms, uh, white tops, red bottoms, and it's not going to be easy to see uh, come quarter. Now, we're actually as far away from the field as we've ever been in, in Montoursville here. They have a new stadium, so they redid this stadium, put new stands up. We're, we're outside, folks, so bear with us. We're outside, it's raining all over the program. We're trying to read. I mean, it's just gonna be ugly. So again, I don't wanna make a lot of excuses, but bear with us as we try to see this game tonight, as it will only get worse as the night goes on. So. Tonight we got the Montoursville Warriors and the Red Tornadoes, and we have two teams coming into playoffs that really play into each other. Right. The Montoursville Warriors, bread and butter is the run. They will run and run and run, and when they're done, they're going to run some more. They occasionally throw the ball, but running is how they're going to win this game. The Red Tornadoes, on the other hand, have been susceptible to the run. Most people have been able to run and put some yards up, except Pottsville, and we saw Pottsville a couple of weeks ago. You're going to see a Montoursville team that looks just like Pottsville yep. when they line up. So it'll be very interesting to see if, if we're able to do the same thing to Montoursville that we did to the Crimson Tide in the run game. If you stop their run game, you'll walk at her with a win tonight. Yeah, their, their offense is set up exactly the same way. They're going to be toe to heel across the line. They line up very, very tight. There's no gaps in between the linemen. They'll, they'll run a wide receiver to one side or the other, and that's it. Uh, your defense plays good, your linebackers play good, you're in this football game, that's for sure. Definitely the Tornadoes coming off their uh, loss from Sealings Grove. Of course, uh, the, the way the score looked, you know, we got uh, pushed around a little bit, but the Tornadoes were in the game the whole way. Uh, Sealings Grove, of course, Seals are probably one of the biggest, biggest teams that we've seen this year so far. And uh, the tornado stuck uh, we're stuck right there with them. Yeah, we played very well as things go. Now, the thing to remember, if you're going to look at schedules here, one of the differences will be the Red Tornadoes playing a much, much tougher schedule That's than the right. Montoursville Warriors have. Again, that may count for something, it may not, but they have played a higher caliber of uh, football team throughout the uh, season. That'll be a little bit different going into next year when both these teams are in the same uh, division in the Heartland Conference, so they'll right. be seeing almost all the same teams, but right now they see almost none of the same teams throughout the year. Well, so. were, yeah, and there were only three, Shikolimi, Shmokin, and, and uh, Sealings Road. Yeah, so it'll be real interesting that way. The other thing to look at for Montoursville as we look at the matchups here, uh, Montoursville susceptible to a wide open offense like the Tornadoes. Now, they have given up tons of points to wide open teams with yep. wide open. Line. When I say wide open, when you're going to see some trips, you're going to see double twins, you know, when you see slots with that kind of stuff, that is going to give Montoursville trouble. At least it has up until now. So that'll be a real interesting, uh, you know, sideline to this game as we watch it progress is how each team can defense each, is, uh, each offense's strengths. And the tor uh, Montoursville command, they'll look like a mirror image on offense of the Tornadoes. They run the, the power eye uh, one way, one direction or the other. They have two excellent uh, running backs, of course. Uh, uh, both of them are around the 900 yard mark for the season. Yep. Yeah, you're gonna look at, look for number 42, no, that's Mike Steele. He's one guy to watch and look at number 20, Sittle. They're the two guys who will do the bulk of the carrying. Number 19, Jacobson, the quarterback on the offense here. The Red Tornadoes will open the game by receiving the kickoff, so I'm assuming that they yes. won the, no, the, the uh, toss. Montoursville won the toss. They deferred to the second Oh, they half. deferred, so we're going to yep. receive and going off. I, I'm so, sorry, I had that backwards, yep. yeah. So, okay, so we will receive, which is something we don't do that often, but we are ready here. Kicking for Montoursville is the quarterback, uh, Jacobson, so he'll do a couple different things here tonight. And he's kicking down deep to the Red Tornadoes, and it's going to go down James there to Haynes. Haynes. Haynes comes right up the middle. Haynes is a little bit of a seam. Haynes on a, Ooh, nice a nice run back, run back all the way out to the 38-yard line where it'll be first and 10, Red Tornadoes. Red Tornadoes moving the uh, moving the sticks down a little bit. A nice uh, 
run back by James Haynes. So maybe about 25 yard run back. Uh, nice, uh, nice seam there for him to get through. Some differences for the Red Tornadoes. Uh, Demetrius, Julius Demetrius will not be in the game. He is not suited tonight. So right. you'll see a little different backfield there as we get going in this football game. We go into a single back set here with uh, Pulowski in motion. Pulowski going to try to find that end and he has some nice yardage. He'll cross the 40 yard line and take it up number to the 43 yard line. We see uh, number 48, uh, Greg Kanovich uh, was the lone back that time for the Tornadoes. So a couple of different formations and a couple of different uh, back sets you're going to see tonight because of the, of the uh, missing Demetrius here. So we'll continue to apprise you that as we go. Again, we set up again in a one back set here with two guys in the slot, Haynes and Pulowski. Pulowski goes the other way and now he'll take it the other way. Haynes out in front of him. He looks for a block and a nice tackle down there by number 83, uh, Brian Rupert the of the carrier. Warriors to take Pulowski out. It's going to bring up a third down and about two for the uh, Red Tornadoes. Pulowski just trying to get around the corner that time. Looks like Coach Brennan is uh, trying to defense out here, just trying to keep him honest uh, with that one back in the backfield. Of course, Pulowski going both left and right so far in this series. Now we come back in a traditional eye formation with Haynes in front of DeMarco now, something we have not seen much of, and DeMarco takes the ball, and DeMarco will carry Ooh. the ball very close, but I do not think, uh -huh. let me see where they uh -huh. place it down. He was stopped down there by number 50, uh, Mason Hartley for the Warriors, yeah, but it's very close to a first down, and first it is. Down. First and 10, Red Tornado. And that was a second effort, great second effort by Dave DeMarco to pick up that first down. He had two yards to go, he was hit at the line of scrimmage, and uh, kept on moving his feet and picked up the first down. Well, the Red Tornadoes initial first down of the football game. They'll come out in that eye formation again. This time again, Haynes in front of DeMarco in the set, which is unusual for the Red Tornadoes. And DeMarco again. DeMarco looking for some running room, and DeMarco will take it up right to midfield. Where he's stopped by several Warriors getting off the very bottom of that pile again. Will, looks like number 50, Hartley, for the Warriors. Now Hartley comes out right now in 67. Uh, it goes in Swisher, Zach Swisher, into that defensive lineup. So it's going to bring a second down and nine for the Red Tornadoes. Actually, a second down. Uh, let's call it second down and 11. He lost a yard on the play. Yep. The second and 11 now. Wojcicki in a shotgun formation, or, or the, uh, yeah. Oh, he had Pulowski. Yep. Pulowski couldn't hold on to it. What a pass. nice pass. Hit Pulowski pretty much in the hands, and, and uh, he couldn't hold on to it. And that's going to be the, the part that's going to dictate what goes on tonight for the Tornadoes because of this this wet field and, and it yeah. raining like it is. It's not a hard rain, but it's just enough that the ball's going to be wet, and the ball was right there and uh, just scored it right out of Pulowski's arms. Uh, conditions couldn't really get much worse unless it started raining heavier. And it's raining pretty heavy right now compared right. to what it was raining a little while ago. It is picking up a little <coughs> bit. Again, Wasilewski out of the shotgun. He has Haynes and DeMarco. DeMarco stays in. He looks downfield, and he's got a guy and a nice play. It's intercepted. Intercepted on a tip ball down there. Intercepting the ball number 31 for the Warriors is Jelani jo Johnson. And Carey, Ethan Carey, number 11, was the one that tipped it. Went back, they were playing a zone defense, dropped back into the zone, and Wasilewski threw it down, although the man was open, but uh, Kerry got a hand on it. So the Warriors take over in Warrior territory at the Warrior 43-yard line. It's first and 10. Again, Steele and Sillo in a split backfield behind Jacobson. That's what you'll see them mostly look like. They've got two guys out wide left in the formation. And it goes to Sillo. And Sillo pounding that Tough. big yardage, Oof. big yardage, all the way out to the 50-yard line. He's out at midfield, so Sillo on a big carry to opening the game for the Warriors on offense. Seven-yard carry that time. It just looked like a massive blue on the left-hand side. That's pretty much what you're going to see all game from the Warriors. That's a signature Warrior play yeah, it's there. Just, and it, this isn't like a wing defense, a wing or offense either. It's a, there's no faking going on back there. That's just a straight dive play. Right, yeah, they, they, they don't have a lot of wing T to them to right. tell you the truth. Now, here you'll see they change a little bit, and they go into an eye formation. So you'll see the split back in the eye, but not a lot of wing. Bring a guy in motion. He stops almost in front. He's going to be the blocker now, and he is brought down 
early on, and it's Demko, Demko. on the final stop. But I'm and it looking was, uh, there. It was uh, J uh, Billy Jurassic. Yeah, Jurassic. I'm sorry, Jurassic, yep. the guy that made the initial hit. Finally got up. I, you know, I'm looking there to see see a number, but it was Billy that made the initial hit. That was great penetration on his part for the Tornadoes. So no gain on the plates. Third down and a long three now. They, they probably lost about a half a yard on the plate. And we apologize for the wind noise yeah. and all that, but it is just absolutely vicious out here tonight in Montoursville. All right, Jacobson brings him up. One guy in the backfield now. Again, a man in motion. The Red Tornadoes are all and it's over a Jacobson, and it's this time Jacobson's going nowhere. And it's going to be Moreau's that really made the hit. Uh, McCracken gave him a whack, but Moreau's all over the play. And they lose uh, probably four yards on the play. It's now fourth down and six. Clocus, number sorry, six. Clocus, 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 Clocus. Made, that, uh, made that play. Coming from his defensive end position, he I'm stayed sorry. home I'm that sorry time. On that one. Six it was, nine already got it was a here. fake dive play, and, and the quarterback kept it and tried to get around the corner. <laughs> All right, Jacobson in, uh, in the punt formation for the Warriors. The center is back. He has a nice kick. It goes right in front of uh, uh, Haynes. Haynes. Haynes picks it up at the 18. Haynes aren't, isn't going to go any further. Yep. He'll be dropped down at the 18-yard line. A big hit down there by uh, number 31 for the uh, Warriors, and that's Jelani Johnson again, the guy that had the interception. James Haynes uh, did the right thing that time. It bounced in front of him. He didn't let it get behind him. He picked it up, even though he was tackled on the spot. You don't want to give up any yardage here. To rain, rain coming down much harder now uh, as we go on offense again. In fact, it's probably raining as hard as it has yep. all day right this minute, and the wind has picked up a little bit too. The Warriors run a 4-4 defense, uh, four down on the line, Two strong linebackers, and they move uh, two other linebackers to the outside. DeMarco, DeMarco to deep back in the I formation. He'll pick up a yard on the plate, second and nine uh, for the Ritz. Again, we're seeing such a difference. We've gone 10 games and never saw Haynes in a fullback right. spot, and now we go into the 11th game, and Haynes lines up as a fullback in front of DeMarco. Now, DeMarco coming off an excellent football game at Sydney's Grove last week. Maybe his best game of yeah, the year. Yeah, he did. He had, he had a very – but I'll tell you what. Uh, when Dave gets in, he gives you 110% that kid oh, all, yeah. the, all oh, yeah. the time. Everybody out, right split on the formation. Again, the I formation for the Red Tornadoes. And this time it's Haynes, and Haynes goes nowhere. The Warriors all over that play, getting off the bottom of the pile. Number 24 for the Warriors, and that is Zach Kurtz. So it's going to bring up third down now and eight for the Red Tornadoes. Not too, too much you can do down here on a 25-yard line, that's for sure. Uh, Coach Brennan is just trying to keep it honest in between the two tackles. Okay, we come out in a trips formation out to the left of the formation. One guy split out to the right out of the shotgun, looks downfield, plenty of time. Screen pass. Screen, screen pass Palowski. in the middle. Palowski carrying the ball. Palowski still rolling all the way out to the 40-yard line. Good it's call. first and 10, Red Tornadoes. Good call. You can see by the pressure. Uh, Montoursville was setting up to come in, and they blitzed also. They brought their linebackers, their outside linebackers, in on Wasileski, and he waited until the very last minute to dump that ball off to uh, Pulowski. And, of course, Pulowski picks up to about 20 yards that time. Nice play, nice call. Just under six minutes to play here in the first quarter. The score is 0-0 between the Red Tornadoes and the Warriors of Montoursville. Now we go in the eye formation. This time it's... Uh, Kanovich is in front as the fullback. And it'll be DeMarco following Kanovich, and he goes nowhere. He is buried on the end there. Number 11 on the initial hit for the uh, Warriors, and that's Ethan Carey. Dave DeMarco, the ball carrier. So it'll bring up a second, second down and a little more than 10 now. Yep. He was just second behind the line of scrimmage when he went down. Very and aggressive. The Montoursville is very aggressive on defense there, especially yeah. uh, between the tackles. Uh, their linebackers come up very, very quick. To the outside, they're, you know, we can pick up five, six yards, get around the end. Wasileski goes straight back. He's under pressure immediately. He's going to go down right along the line of scrimmage. He fights his way all the way to the uh, end line, but he goes down either way down there. It looks like number 31 making the initial hit on the play would be Jelani Johnson and Kramer. Uh, for the Warriors, it brings up third down and 10 now for the Red Tornadoes. The ball just inside the Red Tornado 40-yard line. No 
we'll see what the Red Tornadoes have in store here. On the third and ten, he comes out in an I formation. He has Haynes in front of DeMarco. Two guys split wide left, no one to the right of the formation. And it goes to DeMarco, and the Warriors are all, all over DeMarco, over again. right at the line of scrimmage. It'll be fourth and ten. Uh, you know, it's pretty bad when you, you're seeing three guys getting up off the ball carrier. Tackle by Ethan Carey. Tornado's going to be I'm having trouble reading this, Wayne. The, wind, the rain's <laughs> all over this, this program. I'm <laughs> having more and more trouble. And Marcus is kicking uh, into a crosswind here. Nice high kick. Nice kick. The Warriors will have to let it hit. It oh, hits it hits back. the Warrior. It hits a Warrior, and he immediately falls yep. on it. A smart move by the Warrior. He never saw it hit. He took a weird bounce and bounced right into him, but he fell on it. Number 20 was the guy that got hit, Josh Sillo, so he knew what Watch to do with it. Ooh, and uh, it's going to be a little scary. Yeah, it'll be first and ten for the Warriors with the ball down at the 33-yard line of the Warriors. Well, the Tornadoes pick up a little bit of uh, little field, field this time. You know, uh, defense holes again. Uh, you know, on an exchange, we might be able to move the ball a little bit better. Call it at the 32, or it'll be first and ten for the Warriors as they line up. They're going to have one guy split to the left here in the formation as they. Get to the line of scrimmage. The referees having a conversation right now between themselves, uh, right at the line of scrimmage. Right. I'm not sure what their what the discussion is, but they're both talking about it. We'll wait and see till they sort that out. And actually, gonna they're gonna move the ball back. You'll have to help me with this one. No, no, oh, no. Right, they're no, just they're just resetting the line yeah, of scrimmage. Okay. <clears throat> right. All right. So they moved the ball back right at the 30-yard line. That's, I, and where that's where the he ball, fell. Yeah. That's where the ball yeah. was recovered. They put right it where there. he touched it, not where he fell on. It. Right. Okay. So they moved it back. Good move by the refs to notice that. So three yards difference. It goes back to the 30. Now it's first and ten from the 30. Uh, split backfield for the Warriors, and it's steal and a penalty flag down right before the play. the play gets underway. Normally means it's going to go against Motion. the offense. Yeah. And it is. Illegal procedure against Montoursville. It'll be first and 15 now from the 25-yard line for the Warriors. 3.47 remaining here in the first quarter at Montoursville Stadium. And On again, that, that last play looked exactly like the other plays they ran in the first series. It's either off tackle right yeah. or off well, tackle I said, left. There, there's That's not it. a whole lot of variety <clears throat> here. They're much, I said, much like the Crimson Tide, they just keep pounding right at you until they win. Pass. Jacobson back to pass. He's looking down there for 81. 81 could not hold on to the ball. Yep. 81 is Keenan Jacobson Michael, passes. fastest man on the field tonight, yes, he folks. Is. He is, he'll say he was what now? He was the district uh, hurdle champ. State champion yeah, hurdler. He yep. won the, the 2A state champion hurdles last year, so you can tell you what kind of athlete he is. He looked downfield a little bit. He heard some, it's uh, also some Jose, footsteps. In Jose the, is with turn. us here. It's his first yes. year out for football. Oh, is it? Yeah, this is the <clears> first <throat> time he's played football. Very interesting. Uh, to know that about him. He's a senior, so he's playing only one year here. All right, Jacobson lines him up second and 15 now. Jacobson is going to be a draw, draw play. play. And a uh, nice play by the Red the Tornadoes game. to see that down there. That's that was stack, stack number 60 getting off the pile there. He brought him down, and it'll bring up a third Seven down now. 60, and uh, let me see where they placed the ball. Well, they placed the ball. It's going to be third and 14. He only gained a yard on the play. Yeah, Jacobson going back like he's going to pass the ball, of course. Uh, hands it off on a, on a delay draw, trying to go to the left side of the offensive line, and <clears throat> Steck makes a great stop that time. All right, two guys now split out to the left here. He brings 83 along with him this time, and that is Rupert along he's with in, Michael. He, was he looks in, in that direction. Position. He's got him. He's got his man wide open, and Moreau's a nice tackle, but it's good yeah, enough for the first down. Yeah, out over the 40 to the 42-yard line, and he was wide open. Yep. I mean, absolutely two, wide open on the play. They had two guys uh, trips uh, out in the pattern on this uh, on this uh, flat, and a good pass that picked up the 13 yards that they needed for the first down. And you got to respect his speed, but you can't give him that kind of a cushion. No. I mean, he was just way too open on that play. There was only two guys in the pattern, so it wasn't hard to follow everybody. All right, first and ten Warriors now. One back. You know, that was that wing look. But it goes to Steele once again, and Steele <coughs> fighting for yardage. He'll take it up over midfield Steel, into Red Warriors. Tornado territory at the Red Tornado 49-yard line. Watch what they do. They put the wing out to the left, and they put him in motion. Now the last three carries, 
that motion man blocked. He came up into the hole and blocked for Carey, them. Carey, yeah, Carey's this the guy time, coming through. This time what they did was he, they sent him across in motion, put him in the block, but pulled the guard, and they ran to the left that time. All right, it's going to be second down now and uh, five for the Warriors. They go back into a split backfield now, and it's Sillow. Sillo trying to find his blocks, and McCracken, and McCracken, Great a nice play, play by McCracken Josh on the Sillo play. He carry. stopped Sillo for very, very maybe. small, maybe a half a yard game. Half a yard, but boy, uh, I'll tell you what, uh, McCracken played it well that time. He took on the blockers, took on the pulling guard, held his ground, and then still makes the tackle. Quinn coming off a great game. He played a great game defensively against the Seals last week in Sillies Grove. In fact, he was at Supper Club yeah. because of that last night, because of his fine performance last week. So McCracken, really an up-and-comer in there in that the defensive backfield for the Red Tornadoes. It's third down now and a long four, almost five for the Warriors. And now Jacobson goes into a shotgun. This is the most wide open. He has twins on either side there as he looks downfield and he keeps keeper. it. A design keeper oh, and Chickatano buries him. Yep, Chickatano. Chickatano was there. Demko was there. Steck was in the area. So everybody's playing a great defense here on the white side of the uh, ball. And now the Warriors will decide wisely to punt. It's fourth down and three. The ball in Red Tornado territory at the 46, but they're going to punt. Jacobson goes back in the punt formation, the quarterback. Center hits the ground a little bit, but he gets it off a line drive in front of Morose, and Morose will let it bounce, and it bounces inside the 15 down at the 14-yard line. They'll be first and 10 Red Tornadoes, and now, again, they are struggling to get field position here in the first quarter. There is 41 seconds remaining in the first quarter of play here as the Red Tornadoes go on offense. Tornadoes playing some great defense here, uh, holding Montoursville down up to two kicks, and that time, if you watch, Jared uh, Morgan almost had a block. He came in on the right-hand yeah. side, yeah, a shot, very close. and real, real close to blocking that punt. All right, the Red Tornadoes came out now a more standard backfield. Kanovich will be the fullback in front of Haynes in that eye-back formation, so a little bit like we're used to now. And he goes straight back to pass. Washington, he looks downfield, and he's got his man. He was well covered down there. Uh, number 85 on the coverage for the uh, Warriors, and that's Christini. Yep. And he, he truly saw that pass. We were trying to hit uh, Pulowski, Pulowski, but uh, he was all over that pass. Morose, Morose was clearing the zone out, and he was open downfield a little bit further. But you can see what happens here with the with the ball and the weather that uh, that we're playing, the conditions. That ball sort of sailed on, on Marcus Wasileski yeah. that time, and you can tell because it's wet. Well, it's, getting, it's just getting windier and windier here. It's not getting any better, as I said, and it's very tough now in the passing game for the Red Tornadoes. They go back into a standard eye formation. Haynes trying to follow his blocker. Kanovich fell. Uh, Kanovich never got to the line of scrimmage. Nope. He was the lead blocker. Haynes will take it over the 20 to the 21 yard line. Or the, I'm sorry, 16. He's over the 15 to the 16 yard line. A little muddy right there in that area. The center of the field between the hash marks is, doesn't, doesn't look like to be the greatest part of the field. That's yeah. for sure. Well, the 11th you game. Know. It's, take, it's yep. taking a wear in that so far. It's so. wearing. So it's going to bring up a third down now and seven for the Red Tornadoes. They would dearly like to pick up a first down here, and that will not happen because it is the end of the first quarter of play here in Montoursville with the score of the Red Tornadoes, zero. The and Warriors, the the zero. Well, we I have, think the, about the, we have the quarter break. We have Jose with us tonight, yep. I might add, with us in the, in the uh, booth. Tenth. <laughs> 31 yards total offense for the Red Tornadoes, 28 total yards for the Warriors. Pretty much tells you how close this game has, has uh, gone here in the first quarter. Again, the, the weather playing more to the Warriors yes. than, than the Red Tornadoes here, and that's unfortunate as we are the more wide open of the, of the offensive attack here. But good teams play through weather, and that's what we'll see tonight, if they can do it or not. Exactly, and, and the, other, the other part here is that the Tornadoes have not been able to go to their playbook as much because of the field position yeah. that they've had. They've been backed up, uh, tried their best. They've gotten out to the 35-yard line, 40-yard line, and, uh, you know, have not done too, too much. But the conditions are not there, and, and Coach can't go deep into that playbook and, and pull out some, some wide-open plays. All right, the ball will be on the 16 when both teams take the field as they are right now. It is going to be third down and seven for the Red Tornadoes from their own 16. So again, you gotta be careful, but you truly want to pick up a first downer to start try to switch this field position. They played in the shadow of their goal post pretty much the whole first quarter. We're in an I formation now. 
Watch this. He goes under center. He has two guys out left, one right. He looks downfield. Yeah, he has Moreau's. And Moreau's doesn't hold on to it. It slips through his hands. Again, the wet ball becoming evident. Well, we got a flag on the play. The flag will go against the Red Tornadoes, yep. I'm sure of it, because they stopped the play there. And it looks like a, a motion penalty, and it is. So it'll move the ball back to the 11 yard line, where He's it'll be third and 12. Well, they might decline it. Declined. It's now fourth down. Nice call, Wayne. <laughs> they're at the end of the field I can't even see right now. I mean, I know they're playing down there, but I can't see them. All right, Wash well, Leskin will go into punt formation Marcus for the Leskey Red Tornadoes. For Mount Carmel, deep for the Warriors. Number 83, Brian Rupert. Number 85, Jason Christini. Rupert and Christini deep, and they're nice right at kick. midfield. It's a high kick, and it's going to land and almost hit a Warrior. That was a dumb play there. I don't know yeah. why he was so close to it if he wasn't going to catch it. And uh, I don't understand. They, they escaped with it, but it, it missed them by an inch. I don't know what, what he was doing. The ball will go down, down in Red Tornado five, territory, and it's down at the Red Tornado 46 yard line where it's first, first and 10 Warriors. Oh, that was a dangerous play by Montezville. I, I, I mean, I, if he wasn't going to catch it, he should have just ran away from it. Hey, he didn't even have his hand up for a fair catch. No, I mean, he, he, I don't know, know what he was thinking. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, again, sometimes you, you get a little confused when yeah. you're watching everybody running at you and all, but boy, that was close. All right, Jacobson bring his, brings his crew up. He's more in a wing look now, a wing T look, with Steele the back, right in back of him. And it is Jacobson pass. on a pass play as he looks downfield, and he's trying to hit what I think is the tight oh. end. The size of him here? down. Let me see his number get That's up there. Haynes, Haynes was Haynes. Yeah, 82. It would be, it would be the tight end. Yeah, they're trying to hit the tight end coming off the line of scrimmage, a fake into the into the line by Jacobson. And of course, he drops back, but James Haynes was right on him that time. Almost had an opportunity to intercept that ball. That ball was up in the air. He did, he did, yeah. You know, Jacobson doesn't have some accuracy here when he's throwing the ball or any speed on it. That was Mar Marshall Act, the, uh, the big tight end. He's a Division I uh, look that they're saying. He's pretty good. He's wearing 82 out there right now. He actually splits numbers sometimes. Steal on the carry this time. Right, the Red Tornadoes will corral him down at the 44-yard line. A pickup of about four on the play. It'll bring up third down and six. Demko, of Second course, uh, three, playing three, that three, defensive three, end four. position. Uh, the pulling guard there, and he, he reaches out, and he, he got the ball carry enough to slow him down a little bit. He did have some running room. He had some wide open field. Demko slowed him down on a five-yard pickup. Ball actually placed at the 41, so it'll be third and five for the Warriors. Jacobson again comes out, kind of that wing T look. Michael's the only guy split in the formation and he's looking down at Michael right now. Silo, the back, drug out and uh, on a slant play out in the flat, but he couldn't hit him and it's fourth down. And it looks like the Warriors will again play for field position here in a very tight ball game. They'll be back in punt formation, trying to pin the Red Tornadoes. Yep. Now, if I were the Red Tornadoes, one of the things I would have told those two guys <laughs> is if you can all possibly do it, do not let the ball get behind you. No. That's the key right now. If they well, can feel it. Now, again, it's ugly out here. It, so I'm it, not saying you can. but Now, with the switch of, of uh, positions on the field, they're kicking into the win this time. Now, oddly, Moreau's is the guy back there with Haynes. We've not seen him do that all year either. So, uh, I'm not sure. But look at the oh, kick here. Look, look at, at this kick. Now, Haynes has no choice. And it won't get into the end zone. It won't. On a night nope. like tonight, the, the field is wet. It bounced at the five and stayed there. Wow. So it's going to be first and ten from the five as the Warriors on a great punt by Jacobson. And he couldn't do it. James Haynes couldn't do anything. No, his hands were tied. You're right. It was Nothing an he could excellent do with the five. punt. That ball hit the ground, and it stayed there. That was it. So the Red Tornadoes having a, a heck of a time in field position here tonight. So yep. far, it gets even worse on this possession. I'm not sure why we're seeing Moreau's back there as much as, as we are tonight. We hadn't seen that most of the year. I'm not sure what the change is Plowski. there. Plowski would be back yeah. there. All right, watch this. He brings him up in an I formation. He hands it off to the deep back, and the deep back is stopped instantly down there. A that big hit by Zach Kramer. Kramer. DeMarco, the deep back in the <coughs> formation, and Kramer murders him there at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, Kramer's coming from that linebacker position. He's playing the left linebacker, and he just came right through the hole that time and uh, nailed DeMarco as he was trying to come up. It'll nope. bring up second and 10 for the Red Tornadoes. Yep, the ball nope. probably a half an inch now different from the five yard line, but 
They are not able to run the ball on this Warrior team so far tonight. Not up the middle anyway. They, they had a little bit of success, success at the outside <coughs> at the beginning of the game. <coughs> Wasilewski back to throw. He looks downfield. He's got his man Pulowski. Pulowski <coughs> well covered. A great play by yep. 31 down there uh, for the Warriors. And that's Jelani Johnson having himself a great uh, first well, half here on defense, Johnson saved what could have been a touchdown pass. Yep, uh, he, he sat back there. I think he's the free safety. He's the free safety. And he the sat back, sat back, and attacked just at the right moment. He was looking for an interception that time. He was up in front. Well, they've seen that play <clears throat> now. Obviously, they're well scouted because yep. that's a play we've had a lot of success with. But that time, they knew exactly where that play was going. So and Pulowski was open, too. He had yeah. his man beat, but the free safety, you know, with him playing the free safety like that. Third and 10 now for the Red Tornadoes from the five yard line. He fakes it and gives it up the middle. They will not pick up the first down as he takes it out to the nine yard line. It's fourth down and the Red Tornadoes will be kicking from the end zone. Again, the Tornadoes have, have lost field position slowly, yeah. not in big chunks, but slowly. And now they're, now they're punting from the, from the end zone. Uh, Montoursville the last time took the punt on the 45 yard line. Nice center back and he kicks it to the side. It's gonna bounce down and they're gonna let it hit. Gets, you don't get much of a nope. bounce and now it's in red tornado territory at the red tornado 37 yard line. So again, the Warriors get closer and closer and closer <clears throat> to the Red Tornado goal line every and time we change possession. And what what happens here is you're losing. Is they're picking? They're going to pick up an extra an extra down here. This is going to be four down territory coming up very shortly. Yeah. They're not going to yeah, punt. They're not going to punt, area, right? You know, so they pick up an extra down to pick up their first down. 9:24 remaining here in the second <clears throat> quarter of play as the Warriors come out on a first down. They put Michael on the far right of the formation. Again, they're in a split backfield now, very tight, and it goes to Sillo. And Sillo is loose. Sillo still going. It's going to take uh, McCullum to yep. finally reach Number back and grab him. But and big here. yardage on first down. It's first down and 11-yard gain by Sillo. McCullum reached out and grabbed his jersey as he was running yeah. by yeah. and had to slow Sillo down a little bit. Or that that might have been a touchdown because he had a blocker in front of him also. It's raining so hard now, my glasses are now covered with water too. It's gonna get even more interesting as the night goes on here. <laughs> my goodness, is it ugly here. <laughs> raining pretty heavy again right now as compared to what it was in the beginning of the game. The Warriors in a split formation once again, and it goes to Steele right <coughs> up the middle. And this time <coughs> Steele goes nowhere. Uh, number Goins. 74 number going for the Red Steel Tornado. And a flag deep in the backfield for the uh, defensive backfield for the Tornadoes is thrown, but James Goins comes up and he makes a he makes a tackle there. I didn't see anything back there. No, I didn't either. It's like a personal a foul, foul call play. against the Red Tornadoes. Yep. I didn't see a personal foul, but personal foul, Mount Carmel. Yes. Again, we've talked about this time and time again all season long. Uh, personal fouls kill this team. Yeah, in a game like this. In a game like this, this might be a loser right here. This might be a score for Montana. You just can't afford to do something stupid like That's that. That's right. Just plain stupid football. They're going to place the ball down at the uh, 12, 12, 12, 12 yard, yard about the 12 yard, yard, yard line. line. So it's first and 10 Warriors from the 12. We have a timeout <coughs> on the field by the umpire as he runs over. And I'm not sure if they just want to be sure they got the right spot or mm -hmm. what they're doing here. But they're going to huddle up and have a conversation at mid field there where the ball is and it looks like they're happy with the way it, it is so okay so it will still be first and 10 from the 12 and they say put the clock in motion 845 and counting the biggest threat of the evening now for the Warriors they go in a split backfield one guy out right one guy left of the formation they put the guy in left in motion. It's a it's a power carry to the left. Steel as they put yep. everybody trying That's to get off tackle there. Yep. The they they pull the guard, put him in the hole. We have the motion man going up through the hole and the lead blocker. So they powered their way over, going over the left hand side of their offensive line. It's almost a given when you see Kerry stop like that that he's going to be the blocker. And yeah. you can almost tell that's where they're heading when he comes across like that in motion and he stops short. He stops behind the tackle and then he turns upfield at the snap. It's going to bring up second down and six now 
for the Warriors. They're inside the 10 yard line of the Red Tornadoes down around the eight. And it's <coughs> Sillow this time, and Sillo stacked up at the line Let's of scrimmage. No Sillow gain on the play. Barry. That was Shikitano. One of the guys is Shikitano. Phil Shikitano uh, was the Goins first getting one. off the bottom. Goins. The very bottom looks like it's going to be uh, McCollum. Yep. So yeah, no Shikitano made though. a great penetration there and, and made the stop. The third and six now for the Warriors. The Warriors, I might also tell you, have a pretty good kicker. Uh, they did kick a field goal in the, in horrible conditions against Seelings Grove this year, so he's used to doing that. So they, that is an option for them. You may see them if they don't do anything here. Maybe look for a, for a field goal. All right, a split backfield once again. One guy right, one guy left. Carey comes in motion now again. He stops right there, and they and do the same left. play. And it's Steele, and Steele is stacked up by the Red Tornadoes. Ooh, and he's the ball's still. loose. Steel the ball the squirted ball out. And it's Welcome recovered by the Red Carlos. Tornadoes. The ball yep. came loose in the pile, and the Red Tornadoes come up. Off the bottom of that pile is Welcome McCracken, it looks like. Or McCullum, maybe. McCullum. McCullum on the recovery. First and the Red Tornadoes turn Carlos. the Warriors back, and they actually get the same exact field position they started with at the five. five so it's first and ten from the five. But a big play by the Red Tornado defense, and they cause force and cause the fumble, and it's their ball. 7.06 now here in the second quarter. A hard-fought yep. defensive football game so far tonight, folks. They're playing some good defense, best defense I've seen them play so far this year. All right, the Red Tornadoes come out one back in the backfield, and they're going to throw it to, I believe that's Pulowski trying to pick his way up field. I can barely see them all the way at the other end there, but I think it's number 20. Pulowski. Yeah, it is, Pulowski. And Pulowski takes it up over the 10-yard line, or maybe at the 10-yard line. So he picks up about three, about three yards on that carry. He's up, no, he's up to about the nine. Yeah, four yards. It's hard to tell down yeah. there. I mean, it's it's so far away. We're on the far end of the other side of the press box here. But, yeah, it's at the nine. So it was a pickup of four. We'll make it second and six. And at, and at the beginning of the first series, when we, we took the kickoff to start this game, Pulaski was right and left and, and moved the ball six yards downfield. So they can get to the outside. Naturally, the rain has now turned towards us, and it's blowing right in us. Wasileski looks downfield. He sees no one and he takes off. And Good move. And a nice Good move. Smart. Wasileski picked up the first Marcus down. Wasileski Smart move by there. Marcus. He looked left. He saw that his receiver was covered that time and and just pulled, the, put, tucked the ball away and there was a nice opening, a, a gap in the center of the line. He got first it right down. after the 15. Yep. So it's first and ten. Red Tornadoes and they dearly needed that to try to get off their goal line a little bit there. So a nice move, as you said, by Wasileski. Yep. We talked a little bit about Wasileski last week when he was he was pretty indecisive when he decided to make the run. That time, there was no, no, no indecisiveness. He ran right forward, straight on, and took the guy on at the 14 and took it out to the 15. The tornado snapped this ball. There'll be about six minutes uh, left in this half. Eye formation, everybody out to the left here. He has two guys split left. Fakes it to Haynes, and he looks downfield. Everybody is coming back. I mean, coming back. Back to Morose, and Morose again. Jacobson, a nice defensive play on Morose, and the ball falls incomplete. I'd say that's about the best defensive coverage I've seen in a long time yep. uh, from a high school team. They had everybody covered. They have seen our plays, and they they know where we're running right now. Yeah, they 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 know the patterns. That time, uh, Morose hooked up and then came back into the field into the center of the field. Did get himself open, but uh, dropped the ball. It was right there, too. Rain increasing again in intensity here tonight, folks. It's raining as hard now as it has. The Red Tenniels come out of shotgun formation. He needs two backs next to him, and two guys are out to his left, one right. He looks right and throws it to DeMarco, and DeMarco is buried. Number 41 yeah. down there, Kramer, the Marcus linebacker, yep. buried him. Lost, lost, lost on the play back to at the 11-yard line. Third and about 15. Uh, Kramer, uh, he was keen on, on DeMarco to hold time, and as soon as that ball was thrown, he came over and makes the hit. Well, they're about as well coached the teams I've seen yeah. all year as they absolutely know what we're doing right now. Halftime adjustments are going to be key to winning this football game. All right, the Red Tornadoes come out, the ball back right outside the 10 yard line now. Wasileski goes into a shotgun formation. He 
looks downfield, looks downfield. He's being chased now at the goal line. He's better, okay, he lets it loose across the field. A nice play that time by Moreau. Yep. And Moreau takes it out to the 27 yard line. Moreau's enough comes, for the first down. Moreau's comes back. I'll tell you what, he might have dropped two balls, but here's two plays now where everybody's covered. Marcus is scrambling in the backfield, but he's coming back to the quarterback. You're always taught. When the quarterback is scrambling and, and your play is just about at the end, come back to the quarterback, find an open spot, yeah. and get there. Yeah, that was a great play by great play by Washington. Lesky was then yeah. at goal line when he threw it, and he uh, completes it out to the 27th, first and 10. So a very nice play by both of those players here tonight on, a, on an ugly field. Either they were able to connect on a beautiful pass. All right, back into that eye formation. Now it's Kanovich in front of uh, DeMarco. DeMarco gets the ball, and DeMarco will pick up some yards this time out over the 30 to the 31-yard line. A couple yards, two yards that time. Kanovich uh, goes right that time, and DeMarco tried to squeeze through uh, over the center that time, over the top of Stack, looking for some running room. <coughs> James Haynes now comes into the lineup for the Tornadoes for DeMarco. Second and eight now for the Red Tornadoes. They're going to shotgun, or they go into an I formation. Two guys out right, one to the short side left here. And this time it's going to be Haynes. Haynes trying to make some room, and Haynes falls down. Slips on the, on the muddy field and goes down. Yep. And uh, you lose, probably lose a yard on the play. It'll bring up third down and nine now for the Red Tornadoes. Now you can see, you can see the mud actually flying up from his spikes when he went down that time, trying to get around the corner a little bit, running to the short side of the field in front of the Montoursville uh, bench, where you don't have much opportunity to pick up any speed and, and sort of lean into the, uh, down the field a little bit. There's some sharp cuts that have to be made over on this side. All right, a big third down play now for the Red Tornadoes. Wojcieleski goes into a shotgun, he leaves Haynes back there to help, and the blitz off the side. And it's uh, Moreau's again, and Moreau's on his feet, still up over the 40, out to the 44-yard line, first and 10. Well, I'll tell you what, <laughs> it might be terrible conditions out there, but Marcus Wasileski is uh, putting the ball exactly where it has to go. That time, uh, Moreau's coming across the center of the field, and his man didn't pick him up. Not a, up. Lot, not a lot of pressure on no. on, uh, on Wojcieleski. They're able to, and, and Haynes made a nice backside block there as the guy came off the end. He picked him up perfectly. The Red Tornado stay in the shotgun on first down now as Wojcieleski though hands it to Haynes. Yep. And Haynes trying to pick up some yardage, but it's Number hard to come by as he'll pick up Haynes about. The ball uh, well, I'll give him one on the play. It's well, going to bring up second and nine. Right before that play started on defense, I saw three guys point to James Haynes. <laughs> linebackers. Two of them were linebackers. Yeah. They're keying on James Haynes. Yes, they are. You know, so it's not going to be that easy. Menapace into the lineup now for the Red Tornadoes. He'll, I assume, line up at that tight end position when he comes out, and he does. We go into a one-back Kanovich, the lone back there. We look like we're kind of a wing T look here now for us. But Pulowski will go in motion, and we tip it to Pulowski, and it's going to be called dead. It'll be a motion penalty right against the, the Red Tornadoes. So they'll move it back five yards. Illegal procedure. And I'll tell you, they're yep. tough penalties when it's so hard yeah, to it come is. by. It's going to bring up a second and 13 when they're done. But that's a tough penalty to take when you're finally moving the ball. You're out near midfield and you take a five-yard penalty on a motion. So they've got to get themselves straightened out here a little bit as far as the you know, the, the penalties go. They had one big one that almost hurt them, and they, they dodged a bullet on. But Clock is now down underneath two minutes. You've got to play perfect football yes, in this kind, of, this kind of situation. Now Haynes will move back towards Wojcieleski in the shotgun. He has everybody out to his left in this and formation. And they they're, come right at him. Wojcieleski decides to take off to the backside. And he'll pick up some yardage back over the original line of scrimmage out to around the oh, the 30, yep. around the 39 yard line. He picked up a good four yards that time. They're blitzing from the uh, from the strong side of the field over for the uh, defense of the Montoursville. They're lining up. Their their two linebackers are are coming off the tackle right uh, to the James Hain, to James Haynes side. So James can only pick up one of them. Uh, so the other one is loose to, to put pressure on Marcus. The Red Tornadoes take a timeout here. There's 133 remaining. It's their first timeout of the half. And what they're trying to do right now is not give the ball back to the Warriors. Even if they do, they're going to probably have switched field position finally, although it took yeah. most of the half to do it. 
but uh, they're not giving up on the first down. It'll be third down and nine when it's all said and done here, the way it's the way they place the ball after the Wasilewski run. So third and nine, the ball in Red Tornado territory down at the Red Tornado 43-yard uh, line. Yeah, it looks like Coach the, Brennan has in mind there, Wayne. The defensive coach from Montoursville is just about out on the field uh, screaming at the defense that they were supposed to rush over to that side of the field. The ball went that way. Don't stand over here. Get over there and get in the action. You heard him say that? I did. We're like two miles from the field where we are right now. <laughs> There's a big echo coming off that <laughs> building over there. <laughs> All right. Wojcicki in a shotgun. He leaves Haynes next to him now. He has everyone yep. split to the left <clears throat> of the formation. DeMarco here comes, Pulowski and Rose. Here comes the blitz from the left side now. Yep, here they come. And they left the lefty linebacker go right by him there, and he's in trouble. He throws downfield trying to get Moroz, but too high. They came off. They they came off with the linebacker, and we passed him right by and left him go right through there. We got to pay attention. He was a late rush. He came around the side there on a stunt, but we missed him, and it caused the Wasilewski to throw the ball where he didn't want to, and it's fourth down. We're gonna have to. I mean, if, if for something to happen, we can actually throw underneath that a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we're going to we have to can. adjust to that a little bit, <laughs> Because they're, they're vacating that, that area. They're blitzing two men on one blocker, and, uh, you know, you're going to get to the quarterback all the time. Wojcicki in punt formation. He lets it rip. Gets a nice kick all the way down to the 22-yard line where the Warriors come up field, and they're stopped immediately. Christini was the... Uh, Guy returning, and he's, I believe, Moreau's on the stop. That was number, no, 80, or 80, 88, Menapace. Menapace Colin Menapace was the one that made the stop that time for the Tornadoes. <clears throat> Minute 16 remaining here in the first half. The ball at the Warrior 27-yard line where it's first and 10. Jacobson trots into the huddle now for his crew, and we'll see what the Warriors want to do here in the waning moments here of the first half. And he'll come out in that wing look, steal the lone back in back of him. John Long, the nose guard for the Tornadoes. And it's going to be Steele on the carry, and Steele's going to pick up a yard or so, maybe not. Colocus didn't even making get to the, a he didn't get to the line hit of that scrimmage. time <clears throat> for the Tornadoes. <clears throat> Second and 10, has no gain on the, on the play whatsoever for Steele. The Red Tornadoes tough now. They're, I mean, the Red Tornadoes also yeah. look like they know what some of these plays are going to be as they're right there. Under 50 seconds and counting here now. Neither team uh, going to stop the clock at this point. No, I don't think so. And I don't think uh, uh, Coach from Montoursville wants to do anything drastic here, especially this deep in this field. Silo on the carry now. Demko forces him inside, and then Demko comes Josh back Silo and makes the carry. play. A nice play by Demko all around. A gain of about two on the play. It's third and eight. Demko did a nice job. He forced it in, yep. and then he tackled him at and the same time. As he, as he went right Actually, Shikotano came through. He he fell on the play, and uh, <clears throat> you know forced him back to the inside. And of course, Demko makes the makes the tackle. Third and about seven. Well, they, twenty-five the seconds left, and the tornadoes made have, a liar out of me. They called timeout. They called timeout. <laughs> I'm not sure where that came from, but I'm not sure well, why either. <laughs> <clears throat> let's put it this way: you forced them to punt. You know, they call timeout. Three, uh, it's third down here, third and seven. Now, if the, if Montoursville punts, you never know what can happen in these conditions. And I think that that's Maybe, what Coach yeah, Brennan. That might be what he's thinking. You're what right. What he's thinking. You know, the ball might be a low snap. Might go through his hands. Yeah. Nice thinking, Wayne. Hey. Wow, you came prepared tonight. I'll tell you I what, did. nobody's going to pull the wool over your eyes tonight. I wish they would, though. It's so cold, but. <laughs> It hasn't warmed up at all, although it has stopped raining for the most part. It's kind of a drizzle mm. now compared to what it was, but it's not any nicer than it was. I am just so happy I don't have to go down these 5,000 steps of the oh, bleachers man. across the field to find Jose. I'll tell you what, there's an altitude change where we are right now. Talk about steep bleachers. I, yeah. I mean, I've never never come this far up in a pair of bleachers before unless I was at Beaver Stadium. All right, the Warriors come out after the timeout. There's 25 seconds left in the half. It's third down and seven <clears throat> for the Warriors. They're in that wing T look. We have one guy out to the right, but they're not going to go there and go with Silo, and Silo is stopped. Ooh, and nope. picks up, so you stopped the line of scrimmage. Timeout. Steck will bring him down finally. Uh, it'll be out. Timeout. They think him down they at call, the 33. Oh, 
Yeah, I'll tell you what. He called timeout three seconds ago, and that clock continued to run. So it's it's so there's 16 seconds left. The Red Tornadoes got what they wanted. They're going to force yep. a Montoursville punt uh, with some time left on the clock here. And that's what he's saying. Put the time back on the clock. Who's saying that? The, the referee, the head referee, came over and talked to the coach. He said, uh, "We got to put time back on that clock." Well, there's 16.1 seconds <clears> right now. You must have like a spotter on the field. You're able to hear all these things. I'll tell you what, I'm impressed. It's my hat. My oh. hat's covering my glasses. Oh, I, hat. not, there's okay. no rain on it. Even I'm wearing a hat tonight. First time this year, in fact, I'm wearing a hat. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, they're, they're talking about it. I'm assuming you're right. I'm assuming they're talking about the no, time. There it is. They did. You're right. 19 seconds now. Thank you. What they did I say? Three seconds. You're the man. You uh, are the I'm man tonight. I saved it for this game. You know I, that I will stand in awe of you for the remainder of the evening. All right. Jacobson back to kick. We only put one guy deep in this formation, so we're trying to block it maybe here. <clears throat> yep. As Haynes is the lone back now in the formation. Retinales come after him, and he gets it off. It's going to go and bounce in front of Haynes, and he'll let it fall and let it roll, and it rolls all the way down inside the 30-yard line down to the Red Tornado 27-yard line. There's eight seconds left as they'll go on offense with one more play. Yeah, good time management by Coach Brennan that time. Call nice timeouts. Kick, nice kick by Jacobs. Yeah, really was. did a nice job to yeah. get it out of there. Again, a little bit of pressure from the Tornado side there on that punt, but just not enough to shake Jacobson up. And Washleski tries and you assume this is going to be a pass. Although I'm not on a limb on that one all the time, but I'm assuming it's going to yeah. be one. We're going back in a shotgun formation. This time he puts everyone out to the right of the formation. There's three guys spread right. The Warriors do not put much of a rush up. He throws downfield, but he throws from a rose and he throws short. And there's three Warriors seconds on the clock now, so we one more play. Three. Uh, Moreau's two, I mean, he was pretty, that's the first time yep. we've seen him throw that short in, in, of a pass like that. I'm not sure if everybody was where they were supposed to be or what. But again, footing is, is still a problem here for everybody as he's not able to get himself planted. Now they were in back, and you can see them see them lining up here. They're in a deep, deep coverage. They're oh, not yeah. letting anything get behind them. That's their idea right now. So it's going to be very difficult to put anything down deep. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to put a knee down this time. I think that's a wise choice yep. with, with uh, three seconds left, and we do. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will bring an end to the first that's half the of play first here first at Montoursville High School Stadium on the and campus of Montoursville High School. The score, the Red Tornado, zero. The Montoursville Warriors, zero.
Okay, gang, we're back here getting ready to start the second half of play here. Uh, we have Jose with us here to give us the first half stats, and as if you listened and or watched this game, you pretty much know what they're going to look like as it's been a real defensive effort here. Well, defensive is, is not even close. I mean, it's just been a great game defensively, but I think the weather had a lot to do with it. But in the first half, Montours will 14 rushes for 41 yards on the ground, one of four passing for 15 yards, total offense 56 yards, Three first downs for Mount Carmel, 19 rushes for 39 yards, four of 11 passing for 40 for a total offense of 79 yards and five first downs. So defensive struggle is the, is the name of the game. And you, you, you talked about it before. It could come down to a field goal. Yeah, the way, the way it looks, conditions have not gotten any better. It's still raining pretty much at that same level right now that it began in the second quarter. And it's... Uh, it's just not getting any better. The field is definitely giving up right now. The field is extremely slippery and muddy, especially in the middle, as Wayne indicated earlier. You can see it here when you see the, the tape of this. You can see where it's really bad. The Red Tornadoes have not really been able to run the ball, Jose. And that's the difference in the game, I think, right now. I mean, the Montours will not either, but we have really not done much on the ground. No, we haven't, and we've made a couple of changes. You know, Julius is out at fullback, and, and James Haynes went to fullback a little bit. Kanovich went to fullback. James hasn't been back at tailback. We tried to get Pulowski outside, and with the footing the way it is, he hasn't been able to be as short cut as, as he would like to be getting outside, passing the ball. Marcus is throwing the ball pretty decent. We've dropped a couple because I guess it's, it's slippery out there, and it's going to be tough. But uh, field position played a big part in the first half where the majority of this game was played in our end of the field, and hopefully we can change that in the second half because field position, lack of mistakes, is going to make the difference in this game and probably a one-score game. Yeah, absolutely. That's what everybody, we were just talking talking to Tommy Dolan here a little while ago down from Southern. He said the same thing. This is one of those games looking down to somebody making a mistake or, you know, one cut here or there to put you in the end zone, and that could be the game. Uh, obviously, in a game this like this, now, it's good to have a field, a field goal kicker, and, and the Warriors do, but I, I don't know how easy that is to kick in a field like this to begin with. So I don't know how much of an advantage it will be. The only advantage is that, that they'll go for it a lot quicker than the Red Tornadoes will as far probably. as attempting to field a goal. So. You're probably right. Unless, unless the straight on thing might be an advantage for Colin. I mean, I don't know how right. much of a difference yeah. it makes with the sidewinder versus the straight on kicker, but uh, yeah. it's going to come down to a kick. Hope, yeah, the hopefully it's our the, kick. The conditions have just evened this game out perfectly uh, as far as the game goes. So You're absolutely right, Warren. All right, Jose, we'll talk to you at the end of the okay. game then. Heard the stats. I said it's about as uh, close a game as you want as far as a game goes. It's a defensive game, obviously. That you don't want to talk offense with those kind of numbers. I didn't hear it. Could you just do it over? It's <laughs> no, we can't. <laughs> Let's put it uh, both teams well under 100 yards on total offense uh, for the first half. So, again, what we saw is what we got. We got a defensive battle. Now, Jose indicated, as you did, the real story of this game, I think, for the Red Tornadoes, because if this was a dry field, I think the Red Tornadoes would be winning oh, this football game. Yeah, I do, too. But... The real, the real problem here has been the Red Tornadoes' lack of field position. That's right. really what hurt them. Now, they're going to they're gonna kick off to start this second half, so the Warriors will go on offense. But I think with a little better field position in the first half, we would have seen a little bit more offense out of the Red Tornadoes. Now, as, as Jose indicated, you can see the difference in this team without a seasoned uh, fullback in Demetrius who can carry the ball. Kanovich, uh, a good fullback, but one who hasn't has been in and out of the, out of the game in the season. I mean, he's been hurt a couple times. So he hasn't played the whole season there. So, again, he had a, basically more of a blocking back than he is right. a running back compared to, to a Demetrius who has the speed at that fullback spot that Kanovich doesn't bring to the game. But it's going to come down now to, to the grind-out football game. And as Jose said, it's going to be a mistake here or there or something like exactly. that. And it may come right down to a field goal depending on, on what the you know what the conditions well, dictate Well, I'll tell you what, in the first half, I, I, you know, I thought the Tornadoes, their defense – uh, kept them in this football game, definitely, especially on the goal line stands down on, a, yeah. on the six-yard yep. line. They recover a fumble down there, yep. and they take the ball over at that point and then drive all the way back to uh, Montoursville's 40-yard uh, line. So, I, you know, truly I think that the uh, Tornado defense has, has come here to play. Offensively, I think the conditions dictate and the field position, as, as you, have, you two have stated, has dictated exactly what the Tornadoes can do and can't do down on that field. Yeah, so this will be a real interesting strategy here that, what, that both teams waited as long as they could to come back out, and I don't blame them with, with the conditions the way they are. So whatever strategy was going on, it'll be real interesting to see how these two teams and how these two coaching staffs decide to adapt to what they're seeing out here on this field tonight. And I said to Jose in the last moments there that the field is definitely giving it up now. The field is in right. tough shape right now. It's pouring rain. 
It's been raining very steadily now for the entire game, and you can see that even when they're just walking, they're being ginger about which way they turn. So the field will play a major part in the rest of this football game here, a District 4 playoff game for these two teams. And I guess this is a quarterfinal game. There'll be a semifinal, and then unlike before, there'll be a final game. There'll be three games in District 4 before you move into the into the state game. So yeah, this is, a, again, a, as you said in the beginning, Wayne, you know, play, win, or go home. Right. So this is where it's all at. Not the kind of night you'd want to decide this football game, but, again, it's November, it's Pennsylvania. You know, it's what it is. So we'll see. The, the, as I said, the uh, Warriors will receive to start the uh, – first half here. Silo is the deep guy in the formation for them. I, I tell you the truth, I, th I think with the Tornadoes, a good defensive stand right here is going to dictate uh, the play of the game for the rest of the rest of the night. I think they have uh, I think they have the number on the Montoursville side, but coming back after sitting for you know 15, 20 minutes in the locker room, you know, coming out in yeah. these conditions yeah. are are going to determine what the Tornadoes are going to do. All right, Menapace will kick it off for the Red Tornadoes. He kicks it down in the direction of Steele, right at the 19-yard line. Steele picking and choosing his way up the field, and Steele still, still on, his, on feet. his feet. He took Tough a big hit, but he went, and he'll bring it up all the way up to the Warrior 37-yard yep. line. A nice run back Ooh. by Steele. I thought he was stopped there, and he, and he escaped it. And he took a good shot there. It was about the 40-yard line, spun off that, and picked up an extra seven yards before taken down. All right, good field position for the Warriors to start the second half. And we'll see what they do offensively as the Red Tornadoes have had their number uh, on offense. They have not been able to do a whole lot so far. They come out in the split backfield. They put one guy to the right of the formation, and they're a tight formation as usual. And they go right to the same guy, and this time it is Silo. And a nice tackle for the Red Tornadoes by Morgan, number two. A nice form yep. tackle there right at the 39-yard uh, line. Still, uh, still coming off that between a guard at the center and a guard that time. Uh, sort of like a misdirection play. He did cut across the grain behind one of his, uh, looked like the tight end was coming across to block the linebacker, uh, McCullum. And, uh, you know, still picks up, oh, maybe about... Uh, almost Six seven. Yards, yeah, yep. Almost seven. So we'll bring up a – it brings up a second down and a long three, almost four. The Rittenhills blitz on the play, and it's Steele now, and Steele running loose now. Two Number big running plays for the Steel Warriors, Barry. and they're in Red Tornado territory at the Red Tornado 49-yard line. It'll be first and ten Warriors. Number 42, Sean McCollum. Okay, chains, chains move now. 40 down the 48-yard line. McCollum in on that tackle for the Tornadoes. Still running both right and left from on Toursville. All right, Jacobson under center. Now we have a more of a wing T look. One guy in the back. The Red Tornadoes step up. It looks down there, and he tried to hit Michael, but it was too high. And uh, Michael couldn't hold on to it, so it'll be second and ten. Trying Michael, again, the fastest Mike. guy there. They're trying to get him isolated yep. a little bit to give him some room. Trying to isolate him on... Uh, McCracken, number 89. <clears throat> McCracken came up very quickly to, to protect, but, uh, you know, as we said, Michaels, uh, even though he is, uh, you know, experienced in track, football, this is his first year, he's yeah. a senior. Oh, yeah, very difficult. And you can see the difference. Yeah, it's difficult to come up for one yep. year. All right, back in a wing tee set for the Warriors now. And Jacobson doesn't like what he sees, and he calls a timeout. So an early timeout for the Warriors at the 10:43 mark of the third quarter, and they're going to talk about it a little bit. So the Warriors come out and have some awesome uh, success offensively yep. here, uh, running the ball. These two big running plays get him in Red Tornado territory at the 49. A good kickoff return by Steele also. Yeah, Steele set, set the whole tempo he, there. Yep. And we have struggled in the last three or four games. We've struggled in in the. Uh, uh, special coverage and yep. specialty things. We really have. I don't know what happened to us because we were very good at it, and all of a sudden now we, we've really started to struggle there. So, again, and that may be the break sometimes that, that you need to win a tight game. So we've got to be real careful here Fans as get we out go. Your 50 /50 tickets. If you have ticket number. Okay, five, both five, defensive and offensive coaches five. leave their respective huddle. The, the Warriors have a clear tonight. idea of what they want to do. And the referee signaled that 
the timeout is over. And the Warriors come out to the line of scrimmage here. They'll come out in a, well, let's see what they come out in because we haven't got the line of scrimmage <laughs> yeah. yet. They're going to come out in a shotgun formation. Or, no, they're not. Nope. No, he's just talking to everybody back there. All right, so they come back in line of scrimmage. They have Basor in there, I think number 40 in the lineup now instead. Straight handoff. The Steele <coughs> is the Steel. guy carrying the ball. It was 47. The other guy was what McNamara. The ball was in, he's in the lineup now instead of Sillo. Again, straight handoff uh, going off left guard. He's, he's starting in the right halfback position and just cutting off uh, off the tail of the center into that through that guard hole and picks up about four four yards on that carry. All right, Sillo will come back into the lineup. McNamara goes out now. Uh, they bring Rupert 83 in. He'll be one of the uh, split guys. Him and Michaels come out to the left here. They're in a shotgun formation now on the third down and long six. Jacobson drops straight back, looks downfield, and he's got his man, and it's Michaels, nope. and he dropped it. Couldn't hold good. on to it. But actually, Mitt Rose had a lot coverage. to do with that as he put yep. his arm inside and stripped the ball down as Michaels was trying to hold on, and it's going to be fourth down. And the <laughs> We go right back to the first half where the Warriors will be punting from inside Red Tornado territory, giving the Red Tornadoes <laughs> poor field position. Yeah. So we go back to where we started as far as the field position. The Red Tornadoes will go back to receive the ball, and they're standing down around their 13-yard line from the punt from Jacobson. He lets it rip, almost blocked by Menapace. Morose signals good, the catch at call. the 16. Good. Yeah, he, didn't let it hit the, he didn't let it hit the <clears throat> ground, so nope. Morose will take it at the 16. It's first and 10, Red Tornadoes. M Metapace in there like a almost, shot, Almost though, got it. Almost blocked it. He was up to block that ball, got a hand in front, and, and just blew by the, the punter that time. It's interesting watching Jose next to us trying to write like what? Like he's trying to write on a wet tissue right now. <laughs> <laughs> and all the lines keep disappearing. I'm watching. There's big open spaces where the tarp is dripping on it. All right. The Red Tornado's in an I formation now. Kanovich in front of Haynes. Wojcicki straight back. Plenty of time. Looks downfield. He's got Moroz and Moroz right at the 26-yard line, right at the first down marker. He's going to be a little bit short, I think, wherever they're, where they're going to place it. But nice play by Moroz. A great run in the middle of the field that time. Get himself. He got himself open. Wojcicki, great pass. Second down and about a half a yard now for the Red Tornadoes. Ball just over the 25, and said it's almost touching the first down marker. Again, the I formation, two guys split out to the right of the formation. Kanovich, the fullback, in front of Haynes. And it's Haynes, and Haynes ah, is going to stop. Haynes. Haynes stopped and is brought down in there by number 11, uh, Ethan Carey. And, and Ethan Carey has had a great yep. uh, defensive game for the Warriors, but you don't stop when you're a half a yard away. And he did, and he paid for it. And now Especially he, on this. On a, on on a, a tough turf like, like this. this, yeah. So now you it's know. going to bring up a third down now and almost two for the Red Tornadoes. And they'll send DeMarco into the Red Tornado lineup. He brings the play in with him. And he will now line up as, well, they're going to go into Walk. a, on a shotgun, shotgun on a third and less than two. And he shovel passes it to DeMarco, and DeMarco didn't pick it up. He stopped short of the 25-yard line. Warriors, a great defensive play. And, the, and again, the Red Tornadoes are forced to kick. And what a, what yeah. a, a turning play that stop was at the, at the half-yard mark. Kerry made that play. He made that whole series right there for Montoursville. Uh, you could see the Montoursville line on that sho shovel pass uh, to DeMarco. They, they hit, they hold, and they just slid right yeah, along, yeah. laterally along the line of scrimmage. They did not pursue. Watch well, Leslie back to punt once again. Nice, nice kick. Punt. It's going to go back. to Rupert all the way back at the Warrior 40-yard line. Rupert turns up field, and Rupert's going to be brought down in there by number 66 for the Red Tornadoes, and that is Kyle Higgins. So the... Warriors again, and it's, it's, I know it's it's repetitive, yep. but they have great field position. The ball will be placed down squarely on the 50-yard line, right at the midfield stripe, where it's first and first ten. And 10 Warriors. Warriors from the 50-yard line. So the Red Tornado defense, under a lot of pressure this whole game, due to the bad field position, 
and once again are going to be yep. asked to make a stop on this Warrior team. Coming up strong each time, though. I, you know, you have to tip your hat to these guys. They're, they're playing a tough game. Flag Penalty on the flag, play. And that's because he left the huddle. Yep. He left the huddle too late, and they called it, and he ran right past the guy. He couldn't hide on that yeah, one. <laughs> so it's going to be uh, first and 15. First and 15, the old hand over the heart, uh, illegal participation. You're breaking the huddle or whatever they call it. Yep. Uh, so a good play for the Red Tornadoes without having to do anything. Illegal substitution against Montoursville. And it's funny. You see that play all the way through high school, you see it through college, you see it in the pros. <laughs> you think they would catch on to that, but they still try to leave early all the time. <laughs> and uh, he's trying to sneak off the end line there, and it didn't work. Carey goes in motion. It's Carey. And Carey pass. goes back to pass. And Perry under a lot of pressure now. Carey's still looking to pass, oh, and he has his man it down there. And it's number 81, and he threw it too high. Michaels yeah. was well <laughs> covered by Moroz on a flea flicker play by the Warriors, and it goes nowhere. He, had, he, he was a under pressure. Of, he moved around very well. A lot of well. pressure. I'm, I'm surprised, number one, that he wasn't tackled for a loss uh, because of the amount of pressure that was put on him. And number two, putting the ball up in the air like that, it looked yeah. like a wounded yeah. duck flying through that. We didn't intercept it. So it brings up second down and uh, 15. Well, Montoursville uh, have the field position here, and you see they're pulling a few different plays out of the playbook, yeah. trying to move the ball down the field. For yep. themselves. Michael, the lone guy. Carey goes in motion. He stops there. Jacobs looks down Pass. field. He's looking at Michael. He's got Michael right at the and Michael cannot hold on to the ball. Simply can't hold on to the ball in the yep. wet conditions there. And you can see the frustration now from Michael. Uh, he was wide open. He got hit right there. I mean, made it and he was trying to turn too quickly and the ball slithered down. He has not caught a pass yet tonight. And it was right there. Every yeah. pass to him is, is right on the money. And he got one, he caught one pass tonight. No, just, that's the thing with having Jose. It's both a, a curse and a blessing. <laughs> he, he gets to correct me wherever I say. <laughs> but he did catch one. I'm sorry. But he's had a tough night either way. Jose agrees. He did have a tough night. All right. It's third down now and 15 back from the Warrior 45-yard line. And now he comes out in a shotgun. Everybody is out to the left of this formation here. He drops straight back. He's under some pressure. And he's running, and he's got some room, and he'll take it over the 50-yard line and go out of bounds around the Red Tornado 47, where it'll be not enough for a first no, down. It's going to be fourth up down, and the uh, Warriors six. will punt. Yeah, they pick up of 10 yards. Unfortunately, that hurts the Tornadoes, him picking up 10 yards like yes, that. Yeah. You know, you, you're losing some field position here on the punt. It would have been nicer him punting from the 45 of their field rather than the 45 of ours. And Moroz and uh, DeMarco are now back for the Red Tornadoes to take the punt from Jacobson. This time the Red Tornadoes put, again, pressure on him. He kicks it directly in front of Moroz, who picks it up. And Moroz takes nice, it good move. out to out the 20-yard line. A nice run by Moroz yep. to get some field position finally out at the 21-yard line, first and 10. Yep. And it's odd that I'm saying good field position, but 21-yard line is good field position for the Red Tornadoes tonight. Pick up a six yards that time. He did make the catch, the reception of the punt on the 15, and, you know, wisely. And he also stepped out of bounds, kill that clock a little bit, save some time. I'm going to talk to the guy who put the slits in this tarp before we leave tonight and find out why we had to leave gaping holes in it. All right. Morgan and Moroz go out to the right of the formation. We are in an I formation. And this time it's Pulowski as the deep back, and Pulowski will take it up maybe to the line of scrimmage, and it's going to be second and ten. Justin Pulowski with the ball. It's, I'll tell you what, this, this uh, defensive line from Montoursville I thought Very last week two, uh, the Seals were a tough line to get through. Yeah. This, these kids are playing some tough football right here. Yes, they are. Not much between the tackles. If no. you're going to do anything, you're going to try to do it from the outside, but you're not going to run up the tackles on them, that's for sure. Okay, now Haynes in there, and now Haynes will go into that single back look. The Red Tenilles have two guys split right, one left, and it's Haynes. To Haynes. Haynes looking for some yardage, and Haynes on a tough Ooh. run this time. Haynes up over tough. the 25-yard line, out to the 26. Gain of five. Five tough yards. That's the hardest I've seen James Haynes run all night. 
Although I think it's only the second time that he's carried the ball. Yeah, he's not carried you know, much tonight. He hasn't carried too, too much. Now, he's, and he is pretty dinged up. Yes, he, he is. He came into this game with, with a variety of ailments, uh, not the least of which is a back spasm problem from being hit in the back last week. Yep. And he's, they, they come on and off now. They've done so throughout the whole week. He has a thumb problem and a pretty good contusion on his knee. So <laughs> there's not a whole lot of hitting that's perfect right now. But uh, he is still one tough ombre out there playing. And he'll line up again as a lone back. We have a trip formation to the right here on the third down. Washless, he looks there. He's under pressure. Haynes holds him off. He looks downfield. He's got Moreau. Good. Moreau's turns it upfield, and Moreau's out over the Red Tornado 40-yard line, out to the Red Tornado 42. Washaleski that time was the man that made that play. He, he eluded the pressure. They're, they're blitzing two men on the one, the one halfback that's staying back there to block. And that's it's a smart move by Montoursville, but... You see what happens when Marcus gets out and he gets away from that. And the other thing was Moreau's broke into the area yes, where those two yes. linebackers are vacating. All right, we go into that wing T look for the Red Tornadoes with Kanovich as the fullback. We give it to uh, Pulowski. Pulowski trying to make the turn and a nice open field tackle down there by number 19 for the Warriors. Nope. Jacobson, the quarterback, oh, got, and a penalty flag. They got two penalty flags there. I believe, I can't, I, I didn't see what who did what I don't there, know so either. I don't know what the call is going to be, but it doesn't look good. Might be offsetting. I don't know. Personal foul. Personal foul against Personal the Red Tornadoes. Wonderful. I didn't see the personal foul, so I can't comment well, on it Well, right it could now. be verbal anymore. Yeah, it doesn't, it You know what I mean? That's exactly what they're getting at. Well, we talked a little bit. I talked at halftime. You got a reputation as being a team with personal fouls now, and that hurts you yep. because they look for anything now. And we've definitely developed that throughout this year as a team that has a lot of them. Now the ball all the way back inside the 30, back at the Red Tornado 27-yard line. That was a vicious penalty yeah, to have to that, take that at hurt. this juncture of the game. 514 mm. remaining in the third quarter here. The Red Tornadoes are going to have a second and 25. You know, it's not like we're, oh, we're moving the goodness, ball here gracious. at all, you know. All right, back into that wing T look. There's only one guy. He's out to the short side of the field, but we – Fake the pitch to Pulowski. We look downfield, and we're looking for Moreau's. And Moreau's a little bit too long for him down around the 40-yard line. He was covered well by Jacobson of the Warriors. Yeah, pressure, though, coming off the defensive line on, on Washaleski. And he is doing an excellent job to elude it. Come back up. Uh, he, he steps up into the pocket to, to get that pass off. It'll bring up third down and 25. Kanovich will take himself out of the game. Morgan comes in for the Red Tornadoes along with DeMarco. DeMarco carrying the play. You know, field position is such a big part of Critical. this game and we absolutely gave it up on a, on a personal foul. High formation. Pulowski out here to the short side of the field. We got two guys, Morgan and Moreau's the other way and a penalty flag. Flag on the play. Delay the of game Carver. on the Red Tornadoes. This is what we talked about yeah. at halftime. This is the series, mm -hmm. the type of series of events this that can cost you a football yeah. game. This exact series of events could do it. I'm not saying it will, but it certainly could. The Red Tornadoes again now having trouble getting the proper people into the lineup here. So we're at the 4.58 mark of the third quarter. It is a scoreless game. No team even threatened. The, the, the closest they got were, was the Warriors on a personal foul call down to the five, and he fumbled it. Moreau's one guy to beat. Now, a guy gives him a lot of cushion. Moreau's makes a Ooh. nice play. And, and Moreau's first down. all the way up. Great play. Up around the Red Tornado <laughs> 40. You see where I see where he went out of bounds there first. He's up over the 40-yard line, out to the 42-yard yep. line. Now it's, it's not enough for the first down, but it at least is. it gains. Oh, no, 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 it's no not. I'm sorry. I'm He's going to be uh, two yards short, one, or nine yards short. It's a, yeah, because he got over the first of the yep. marker there. But it's a fourth down, but at least it got him some field position wow. change here. And I'll tell you, he had he was one guy away from going down the sidelines. A pretty Marcus move by Moreau's to pick up some big yardage. And Wojcicki back deep. Oh, a nice kick by oh, Wojcicki yeah. all the way down, and it's fumbled. The ball's on the ground. The Warriors pick it up, and uh, steal. No, 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 24 picked it up. That was Kurt Jason alertly, picks up the fumble. The Red Tornadoes tackle him in the uh, 
Wow. The Warriors will have it a first and 10 from their 27 yard line. Almost, almost. That came close, 27 yard line, but it came close as the ball bounced around on a big hit. But the Warriors recover and they'll go on offense. It's first and 10. Billy Jurasky uh, getting a deserved rest in this series on defense. Jacobs on their center, he's in an eye formation. And he gives it to the deep back and that's Steele. And Steele looking for some room down there and Steele picks up some yardage up over the 30, out to the 32 yard line, up almost six on the play. Yep. He's uh, Steele, he brought down in there. James Haynes was, it came up Haynes, from yeah, Haynes was the strong guy that, uh, safety position to make the stop along with uh, McCollum. I'll give him five yards on the play, so it'll be a second, yeah, 27 to the 32, five on the play, yep. second and five. James Goins making that tackle, number 74. Inside Oh, handoff. nice play. Who was that? That, Sh yeah. that has to be Shikatano. Yeah, Shikatano. Or Stack. No, it was Stack. Stack. 60. 60. Big number 60, not 50. I, I saw the zero yeah, and Stack I didn't see. Yeah, Stack getting off the file there, yeah. Yep. He, he reached around and, and grabbed, the, grabbed them from behind to make that tackle. It's third and one for the Warriors out over the 35 at the 36 yard line. Warriors come out in an eye formation. They've not played out of the eye much tonight, occasionally, and they're in one right now. He goes to the deep back, Steele, and oh. Steele's got some oh. yards, and Steele's free. Morose. Look at this. It's gonna take, uh, Let's see what pay, there, he's McCullum. down to the red tornado 39 yard line. Uh, McCullum finally brought him down, but he's inside the 40 at the 39 on a big run by Steele for the Warriors. You know, if there's so much pressure, you know, it's third and one. Is there so much pressure to try to stop them from picking up the first down? I, you missed the, the big opening that time, and uh, Steele just takes off, picks up 20 strong yards. All right, first and 10 Warriors. Steele once again, Steele and Steele again running hard and they can't stop him now. All the way down inside the 30 down at a red tornado, 26 yard line. They went into the eye formation all of a sudden. Yep. He's the deep back in the eye and he is running free right now. He's, he's, he's following his blocker up and then he's, he's actually breaking across in front of the linebackers and uh, taking off down the field. First and 10 from the 26. This is the second best threat the Warriors have mounted all evening in a 0-0 game right now. Again, the I formation. This time, it's the up back in the I formation getting the ball. That's number 47, McNamara. And Steck. McNamara picks up about two, two yards that time. Steck makes a strong tackle. Tackle by number 56, Billy Jurasky. I'm not sure where Sillo went, but we haven't seen Sillo much here in the second half at all. I don't know if he got hurt, but he's, he's been in and out, but very sparingly, and he's not in the game now. McNamara is in there instead of Sillo. John Long in as the nose guard for the Tornadoes. Steele and Steele. Chicatano shot the gap and dropped Steele yep. for a loss on the play. It's going to be Mike third Steele down and 10. Good move by Chicatano. You could see him picking a spot. Right off the uh, left side of, of John, uh, he went right, Chicatano goes left, and, and he almost got the handoff. Yeah, he was in there very quickly. He obviously knew the play. Chicatano staring at the Warriors sideline as they talk about the play, so I don't know yeah. if he's able to see that or not. Under but one uh, minute <laughs> under one minute of play in this third quarter. Trying to get an edge there is, is what he was trying to do. They go back again. They're in the eye now almost exclusively here. Pass. Jacobson back to pass, and it is tipped a little bit and knocked out of the way. He was trying to hit Michael, I think and it's fourth down. Starting to put a little bit of pressure here, blitzing the linebacker. That time McCollum was in on the quarterback. Yep. Now, the only difference between the lineup now with McNamara, McNamara is much bigger than Sillo, and I think they went for, they're went going with, with McNamara for the block. Uh, Sillo is a much yeah. slighter back than he is, so that might be the reason. Sillo's standing on the sidelines. So I'm assuming he's okay, but he's not been in the game in the second half much. Fourth down from the Red Tornado, 26. It's fourth and 10.
Timeout, Montoursville. Timeout, Montoursville. That's the second time out of the half for them. They're down to one now here with 42 seconds in the third quarter. Not a bad time to call well, a timeout considering this game, you know, it's the second time they've been this close all game. So yeah. you make sure everybody's on the same page. Uh, quarterback came out, though. He came out over center, and I don't know whether he, he looks and doesn't like what he sees or whatever, and he called a timeout. So, again, they want to get it right here. Again, you don't have that many chances the way this game has oh. gone. There has not been a lot of chance to do anything. Really tight game, a 0-0 game in the waning seconds of the third quarter here in Montoursville. The rain has let up for the most part, just a slight drizzle now. You can still see it hitting the puddles, but not like it was in the first half. And it's not as windy. No. The wind has died down too, so in fact the flag right now is laying limp over there. Each team has a total of 129 yards right now, <laughs> both of them. They both have 129. That's how tight this game is. Yeah, this is a good, great defensive game, that's for sure. Uh, Montoursville offensively having the better field position all night yep. long, not not just in, the, in this quarter here, but <clears throat> all night in this whole game. And again, the Mount Carmel stops them here. This is probably the best field position they're going to get. He's in a shotgun formation, leaves McNamara back there to block. McNamara does exactly that. He's under a lot of pressure now. He throws downfield and he has his man down at the 20. He goes out of bounds and it's not enough. Nope. He put him out at the 19. The ball will go over to the Red Tornadoes. A nice stop by the Red Tornado defense. Good stop, good pressure Demko that time. Demko put plenty Demko. of pressure on him and forced him to throw <clears throat> to the sideline. Demko did and so did uh, Colocus. Uh, put a lot of pressure that time on the quarterback. Scrambled around and, and not, actually thought he was going to step out of bounds, but Threw the ball, picked through it for a five yard gain, but certainly not enough for the first down. 33 seconds here remaining in the third quarter as Wasilewski trots in. He'll go into an eye formation. He'll leave Kanovich in front of DeMarco in the eye. One guy right, one guy left. Plowski's here on the short side of the field, but he goes to the wide side. And he's trying to get Moreau's, but way too high for Moreau's yep. on that pass. Sailed a little bit that time. Uh, that time uh, rolling out, Marcus was rolling out to that side and uh, a little bit of speed on the ball and it did pick up on him a little bit. Moreau's couldn't, he got a hand on it, but it was up too high and couldn't bring it back down. Second and 10, it looks like Haynes back into that red tornado huddle with the play. The tornadoes are going to be taken up and shown what the other side of the 50-yard line looks like. They just haven't gotten there at all tonight. Wasilewski drops straight back. A screen play. DeMarco with the screen, and they didn't get the one guy they nope. needed to. And they didn't get They had him. three that's guys out was. there, and they couldn't block the one guy they absolutely had to. He exactly. makes the play, and that's uh, number 31 down there. Jelani Johnson stops DeMarco. About a yard gain, it's third and nine now. Well set up for the Tornadoes, that's for sure. They just missed one guy. Yep. I mean, they would have blocked him. He could have scored. That's how wide open he was. But Johnson makes a big play for the Warriors. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end that's of the, the end third of the quarter of play here in Montoursville. Score. The score of the Montoursville Warriors, zero. The Red Tornadoes of Mount Carmel area, zero. 12 minutes left to decide who moves on in District 4. I don't know if 12 minutes is going to be enough to tell you the truth. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I sure. think it's going to be an overtime game here. The way both defenses are playing, that's for sure. Uh, the Tornadoes, uh, of course, then on a 21-yard line here, uh, trying to move the ball down the field. Again, those of you watching the webcast, we welcome you. We're glad you're listening to us. Wherever you might be, it's a great football game. And you are in a great spot on the web because you're nice and warm and dry. <laughs> you're look at, you're uh, listening to us on the worldwide web, courtesy WKMC-TV, the broadcast the arm of Mount Carmel Area High School. You're listening to us on the PIAA Internet Broadcast Network, and you're being beamed it to you from Easy Stream Broadcasting. also want to shout out and say thank you to Service Electric Cablevision in Sunbury. Of course, they make it possible for you to see us on a Wednesday night to make it possible for you to see all of Mount Carmel area uh, happenings on WKMC TV, not just sports, uh, but a full lineup of sports going through the winter, but also what's happening academically, uh, different plays. Uh, I believe we'll have the uh, Veterans Day affair and all being, being broadcast to you in the coming weeks. So again, thank you to Dwight Walters and his crew at Service Electric.
Shotgun formation for the Red Tornadoes. They come off the end on a blitz. He looks downfield. He's got two guys in the Ooh. same spot, and he tried to hit Pulowski. Pulowski had a, had a chance yes, at it, but did. couldn't hold on as it went through his hands down at the midfield stripe. Pulowski tried to stop and come back instead of continuing down the field, and that ball was right there on the money. Fourth down now, and again, the Red Tornadoes will punt. And the Tornadoes have picked up that double blitz that the yeah. Montoursville Yeah, doing a very good job of that. Excellent job. They come off the far edge with it, but yep. uh, has not been a threat so far. But unfortunately, the Red Tornadoes will punt. And again, the deep backs for the uh, Warriors are at the 50-yard line. A very high kick this time. Calls for a fair catch right at the 45-yard line where he falls down. Marcus fair Marcus catching the ball was Cristini. And the Warriors again Christini. start in Red Tornado territory. Yep. And that has been the, the absolute story of this football First game. Down, they have played almost every down in Mount Carmel territory. And the defense has stood up to the challenge, that's for sure, all night long. Playing some great defense down there. We're rotating some guys in and out, trying to keep some fresh legs. Again, uh, number 64, John's is in there. Right up the middle, and it's 20. 20, that's Sillo. Sillo back in the, Sillo yeah, back in the game now. Uh, and uh, I see now McNair comes in, so Sillo will come back out. We've only seen Sillo in a couple of plays in the entire uh, second half here. And he's looking, Sillo's trying to decide. Now Sillo will stay in, and Steele will come out. Yep. Instead. So Steele comes out of the game, and McNamara stays in. So McNamara, the bigger of the two backs there, will stay in in that I formation. Sillo now the deep back. One guy right, one guy left in the formation. And it's going to be Sillo. And Sillo will fall forward Oof. for some big yardage. Josh the ball extracurricular play down there and a flag <laughs> oh, right geez. into the middle now. The now that one's a warrior flag yeah. there. I'd be very surprised if it went against the Red Tornadoes. There were two He's calling warriors. it against the Tornadoes. Look at yeah, that. You can't be doing that. I don't think so. I can't, I can't. How could he do that? I don't know. No, you, I don't think he could do that. I mean, well, so it was right in the middle of the field. It was hard to see that it wouldn't go against... Offsetting. Offsetting. No. No, against us. Yep. Well, I'll be truth with you. I, I have no idea I, what that is. It wasn't our fault. But again, as I told you before, I'm you earned the reputation for it, and now you get it. And that's exactly what happened here, as that that's, was not a personal foul no. against the Red Tornadoes, against the Warriors. But it goes against the Red Tornadoes. The Warriors will get the football inside the 20 at the 19. It's first and 10 Warriors. Bad. <laughs> that was a bad call. On a night like this, on a great game like this, in a, in a district playoff, <clears throat> you don't make a call like that. That kid wasn't even near it. Nope. Coach Brennan really unhappy about that, and I don't blame him. In fact, the entire coaching staff is out on the field asking how that could possibly have gone against us. And uh, it just couldn't. I mean, that, that's a no. poor call as you're going to see, as you stated. But it's not going to change anything. We're going to get on with the game at the 19 when it's all said and done and we're all done yelling. So they signals that we're ready to, to go. And the Warriors will come out. They'll have McNamara in front of Sillo in the lineup now. Two guys are split out to the right of the formation, but it's Sillo. Sillo trying to follow McNamara, and he goes almost Josh nowhere this time. The Red Tornadoes stand <clears throat> him up. Probably we'll two give him yards. Two on the play, it'll be second and eight. 10 minutes and 30 seconds left in the game. Pickup of two yards on the left side, of course, there. Chicatano coming up to make that play Chicatano. for the Tornadoes. At number 74, James Goyne. Okay, McNamara comes and out. Now the Goins. original lineup in there, Sillo and Steele are back in the uh, formation for the Warriors, and they're in that tight split backfield, and it's Steele in a quick opener. And Steele will be brought down, I think, by McCollum. Yep. Steck makes the initial hit at the line of scrimmage. But, uh, you see how strong Steele yep. is. He, he just picks up two extra yards that time. But Ball's out to the 15. It's going to bring, uh, it'll bring up third and five. They put Rupert now in the big split end. And Rupert will go far out to the right of the formation. Michaels will come to the short side of the field, and we're in the split formation in back of Jacobson. 
Jacobson gives it to Steele, and Steele Ooh. goes nowhere. Nowhere. Pick up maybe about a yard. Great play. Down. Looks like Goins is in on that tackle. McCracken. And they're going to attempt a field goal. They're going to go for yep. a field goal. The game now is tight enough and long enough that the Warriors think that this may be the winner. So they will set up for a field goal. Now they're going to kick from about the, well, the, the ball's at the, where's the ball? 13. The ball's down at the 13. And he's setting up on the uh, 21 yard line. So this will be a 31 yard kick. 31 yard Jan kick. Jameson and it's actually it's goal. Jacobson that attempts, the, he does all the kicking, the quarterback. So Jacobson in to attempt a 31 yard field goal in a 0 0 game. The center snap was down and it's, and it's blocked. blocked. The Red Tornadoes have blocked it. Morgan blocked it for the Red Tornado ball still bouncing around. Still bouncing around and, and finally tornadoes. covered all the way up yep. at the Warrior 38-yard line. A big play by Morgan yep. for the Red Tornadoes. Morgan comes in from the right side and all night long we've been sort of toying around with blocking punts and everything else. We've been getting through there. Finally happens on a critical, critical uh, snap that time. But the key here is the Tornadoes. The ball kicked all the way out yeah, to the 39-yard line kept for the rolling. Tornadoes. <laughs> Nobody could cover it. They nope. kept uh, bouncing around. So they'll go first and 10 now from the 38. Kanovich in the backfield is the fullback, and he's in front of Haynes. And it's an end around to Pulowski. Nope. Go, go. Pulowski makes the turn and can't cut on the sideline. You, you see how slippery, how slippery field it is right in the sideline. He is holding and trying to keep his footing as he's going down the field there. First down for the Tornadoes. Going to the outside with Pulowski. Right at the, right at the midfield stripe. Yep. And guys, get ready. The Red Tornadoes are about to enter Warrior territory. <laughs> and they, I, I don't know if they've been there the whole game. I'm not sure. I don't think they've ever crossed the 50. And they're actually technically slightly across it right now. <laughs> so they're actually in Warrior territory by about an inch. We're in an I formation. It's DeMarco, and we nope. now left Warrior territory and are back in Red Tornado territory at the 47, a three yard loss. Swisher, 67, coming in from that uh, tackle position to make the hit on, on DeMarco. Loss of maybe two yards that time for the Tornadoes. Okay, take the tight end Menapace out, yep. out of the lineup now. We're gonna go with a I formation. Kinovich is in front of DeMarco. We have two guys split out to the right, one to the left of the field. Wojcicki looks downfield and he looks downfield Look and he's this. got Pulowski, but he couldn't hit him. He was wide open in between there. Pulowski was very close at the sideline, but it's gonna be third down now and 13. Well, I'll tell you, I think if the Tornadoes are going to win this game, they're going to have to do it on Wachaleski's arm. That's all. <clears throat> all Pulaski had to do was put both hands out, and he, he caught that ball for a first down. 7.43 remaining in the football game. It's 0-0, zero, zero, folks. We are certainly giving uh, Wachaleski Marcus Enough time now. We certainly picked up the uh, the blitz by Montoursville. We go trips out to the right of the formation. He looks downfield. He got uh, Moroz. And Moroz is quickly gang tackled at the 45 yard line. It's going to bring up fourth down and five for the Red Tornadoes and a decision to be made for the Red Tornadoes at this point in the game. Do they punt or do they go for it? They'll place the ball down at the 44 yard line. They've got to get to the 40 for first down. So it's, a, it's pretty much of a, just outside the 40 be a long four. So it's fourth and a long four, and the Red Tornadoes said we're Coach, going for it. Coach Brandon's going for it. Uh, DeMarco comes off, and James Haynes comes into the field, comes onto the field here. 7.02 and counting, and we're going to go into an I formation with Kanovich in front of Haynes. We're in a tight formation, and we call timeout. The Red Tornadoes take the first of their three timeouts. They have Good two call. remaining. And a good call, and I'm not sure if we were just trying to see what yeah. defense, because we made no attempt. No, we didn't have a punt. formation there we, to, you know, to run. The, he was trying to hold them, trying to delay, yeah, trying, trying to, to, jump, to get, yeah. them, get them to jump offside, pick up the first down. It was fourth and We actually ran out of four. time to do yep. that, though. We didn't have enough time to, to go through the sequence. So an alert timeout by Wasilewski, and they'll send saving him at the 6.53 mark when you're – and this, this is as close as we've been, so we might as well take it. 
as this is the deepest penetration a Red Tornado team has made tonight, and it's only down to the Warrior 44-yard line. And I thought he sent the punt crew in. We'll see what he's going to do. Well, maybe. Here. We'll see now. I mean, he did, he did originally. He looked like he was going for it. Yep, that's what and he did. And he has changed his mind and will punt. You got to get the Warrior coach out of Look the huddle, right. though. That would be nice if we could do that. He's getting a little bit extra time out. Maybe he's going to play a position there. <laughs> the Warriors... Are not are, are figuring that we're not actually going to kick. They're assuming it's a quick, or it's going to be a fake. Now they now they put a guy deep back down around the 18-yard line, but they weren't too sure about that to begin with. In fact, they're still not that sure about it, as they as I speak, as they're a little bit confused. But Wojcicki says, "I'm kicking it whether you think I am or not. It's going to be a short kick, and it's going to go out of bounds at the." 19 yard line, so it's first and 10, I'm sorry, the 21. First and ten Warriors from the 21. I think the Red Tornadoes would have liked a little better kick than that, but still in all 19 or 21 yards is where it's at. 6.43 remaining in a scoreless game here. The Warriors will go on offense, and you're right, time is waning out of this game here. It's going to go into overtime at the rate it's going. Well, this might be best field position uh, defensively for the Tornadoes. That's yeah. for sure. They've been they're playing some great defensive ball here uh, all night long and have, have controlled what Montoursville has, has pretty much done. Montoursville goes back into an I formation now, uh, waiting for the ref to do something here. And I'm not sure if he wants more time or what he's doing. There. There's, there's a stoppage on the, pl on the play here. The two refs are standing at the 30 having a conversation about something. I'm not sure if they want more time on the clock yeah, somehow. Yeah. I'm not sure what they're doing. 6.43, yeah, They're taking 41. time off. 39, 38, 30, wow. The clock, the clock must not have started at right. some point there. So the clock now reads 6.37, which is a difference of about five seconds or six seconds there from where it was. And now they signal that it's time to go on offense and Jacobson trots back into the huddle. So it'll be McNamara in front of Sillo in the I formation. One guy split in the formation. He split out to the right. There goes, and goes to McNamara. McNamara right up the middle. And McNamara's got oh. himself ahead of Stephen McNamara all the way out to the 35-yard line. He didn't carry the ball much, but he made a dent in him that time as he takes it all the way out to the 35. It's first pick and up, 10. Pick up of 12 yards that time. McNamara first is a 6 down. foot one, 210 pounder. And he's only a junior, so they'll see him again next year. Again, the same formation with McNamara in front of Sillo. This time we bring the guy to the left instead of the right. And it's Keep a keeper. Nope. This time Sillo, the deep handoff, and that'll gain That's no yards strange. whatsoever. Is that? That I'm not sure why I would have ran that play. That, it took yeah. too long. Getting off the bottom of Paul McCracken uh, made the stop. But, yeah, that kind of was too long and involved to get going there. So it's second and ten. Crackham McCollum. Uh, in Chicatano making a hit that time. But like you said, it was entire fake dive and then uh, looked like Jacobson was going back to pass and then he hands it off to Sillo. Same eye formation again. Now we flip the guy to the right of the formation and it goes to Sillo again and Sillo trying to follow his blockers and Sillo goes no, for about two know. yards in the play. Yeah, That's yeah, about yeah. it. The Red Tornado's all over him. McCracken getting off, McCullum getting off the bottom of the pile. So it'll be third down now and eight for the Warriors. Tornado's protecting very well to the outside on on, uh, on both right and the left, picking up that tackle, that, that open slot there coming off tackle where uh, Sillo is the running. Warriors make no attempt to, go, to actually take that step outside ever, no. though. Never. I mean, they never actually try to move outside. It's always right at the tackle spot. I formation and now the Warriors moved. So it'll bring it, move it back five yards. It'll be third and 12. Almost 13. Illegal procedure against Montoursville. So it'll bring a passing play now for Jacobson. 4.57 on the clock as they wind time back in. Those are the types of plays that give you gray hair. You know, when you're standing on the sideline and boy, you got that play all yeah, figured out yeah. and what you're gonna do and all of a sudden you're five yards back. 
All right, Mike Steele goes back in the lineup. He takes McNamara's place. And they'll go into an I formation. And Steele will be in front of Sillo. They have one guy out, and we. It's a pass by Drop Jacobs. straight back. It's a screen play, which the Red Tornado said we know. And Steck buries them, and they'll mark it back down at the. Uh, Going back down at the, what, the 18 yep. yard line. A Eight, big no, loss 20, for the Warriors. The 22 yard line, they're going to drop it. I'm sorry, I keep thinking yep. it's the 22, yeah, the 22 yard line. Again, screen Goins. played at the Red Tornillos. Absolutely saw it coming from the snap yep. of the ball. They didn't fool them at all. And then Steck buried Jacobson. The Red Tornadoes, in the waning moments of the fourth quarter in a tie game, 0 0, are going to get field position, folks. Jacobson lets it rip a high punt. And it's going to bounce down right at the 50. <laughs> at the, I'm not sure why he, why now the warrior guy caught that, but I it's right at the 50. <laughs> I don't want to hear you say a word about us getting into the, into the No, not a word. Not. Now let him go. I, I'm, I'm surprised that the warrior, the ball took a big bounce in the air, and he, and he picked it up right at the 50-yard line and downed it. I think yep. he probably would have gotten some yardage on it, but needless to say, that won't happen. It's first down from the Red Tornadoes just inside the 50-yard line in their own territory. And there's three minutes and 47 seconds left in this ball game. What a game, guys. I mean, if you're yes. a defensive guru, you're going to love this game because it's all defense so far. Pulowski Pulowski to the trying outsides. to get around the end. He's uh, slowed up a little bit. Now Pulowski will get some yardage. 73 made a nice play down there. And that's Josh Albert. Yep. Uh, couldn't hold on to Pulowski, and Pulowski will actually pick some yardage up. He's inside the 50, over the 50 now in Warrior territory at the Warrior 47-yard line. Pick up of two yards that time. Pulowski, I tell you what, having some trouble keeping his footing. He, he's trying to run a little flat-footed now, you yeah. know, trying trying not to slip on on the turf. I formation now. We have two guys split to the left of the formation for Wasileski, and Wasileski will drop straight back. He's trying to hit Moroz, and the ball bounced up. Moroz could not hold on to it. Hit Moroz, couldn't hit Moroz any harder if you tried there. He was right in his hands, and he actually, yep. when, he, when he popped it up in the air, he put a risk to himself that they would have intercepted it, but the ball falls to the ground, and it's third down and eight. Now, had he even caught that, that would not have been a big gain as the Warriors were all over that play. Yeah, they see I that I think right it's away. time to go downfield. It's time well, to get a pass down the middle what, of the field somewhere here. Take a look at the set. Uh, if we just we put just a slot, wide slot, wide right receiver, there's only two men covering them. There it is. There's Moreau's and a flag. Because Moreau's is actually trying to hit Pulowski, which he does. And it's now the flag illegal. went right down in the midst of yep. the whole group here, so I don't know who that's going to go against. Probably illegal setup. The ball is the ball was caught down at the Warrior 28 yard Motion. line, but it's going to come back. So that's a tough penalty to take there, as we had a first down at the 28 yard line of the Warriors, and it'll come back. And now we march steadily backwards as the ball will be set down back in Red Tornado territory at the Red. Where is he at here? I don't know. He's down at the Red Tornado. <laughs> They're playing it off the hash marks tonight. 36. Nothing is playing in the, in the inside of the field here. So it's third down now, and uh, third down and 13, a long 13 from the Red Tornado 40, I'm sorry, 46 yard line, not 36, 46 yard line. Sorry, guys. And we go into an I formation. We got Pulowski over here, man on man, one Straight on Straight back, a blitz by the Warriors, and the Warriors will finally, finally. get the Wachalewski yep. the first time tonight. And they bring him down inside the 45-yard line at the 44-yard line. It's fourth down. The Red Tornadoes will be punting at the 315 mark of the fourth quarter. Fourth down. That's the first time tonight that they've gotten to Wasileski, and it was an all-out blitz that time. I think everybody uh, everybody released. They had four men covering deep on the three receivers that were out on the patterns. Wasileski will back in the punt formation for the Red Tornadoes. The uh, Warriors will uh, step back around the 28-yard line. The punt or the center snap is dribbled, and Wasilewski, uh, a horrible punt off the side of his foot, 
it'll bounce down and be blown dead at the 39 yard line. So the Red Tornadoes are continuing to make it hard on themselves here. Uh, 239 in the game, folks. No score here in a District 4 quarterfinal playoff game. The Warriors go on offense. You, you, you have to start yep. thinking all these mistakes and missed opportunities are going to catch up with this almost. You almost get that feeling the other foot's going to fall on us here. <laughs> Just the way we've been playing here, we've done absolutely nothing right, uh, you know, here in, in, the, in the third and fourth quarter at all. And we put the defense on the field for an awful lot of time. Steele in back of McNamara in the eye. He fakes it to Steele, looks downfield. He's got some time, and now he's going to be brought down by Goins. Goins. Goins brings him down, comes from the backside and makes the tackle. Jacobson trying to uh, take off through the pocket, looking for some running room. Picks up maybe about a half a yard. So it'll bring up, we'll call it second, we're going to call it second down and 10, because it's, it's really second right. down and, and a little less than 10, but I'm Jacobson, not going to argue with No, you. It's, but it's pretty close. Jacobson will trot back in that hull now. The clock continues to run at 207 and counting. And the Warriors come out again in that same eye formation. The split guys are out to the right of the formation, but we go to <laughs> McNamara Mac up the middle, and McNamara will gain some yardage up to the, about the 42-yard line. Pick up of maybe about three yards. And it's going to bring third down. We'll call it third down and six. Number 60, Chris Steck. Chris Steck making the stop that time for the Tornadoes, coming from that right tackle position defensively. I would thought that the Warriors would be in a little bit more of a hurry than they are, but yeah. they're pretty deliberate about what they're doing at the probably 124 wants, mark. Probably wants to eat, eat up all the clock and get in the sudden death here. Steele with the carry now, and Steele, and Steele's got some yardage. McCullum, oh, but he's up over the Red him. Tornado. Bring him now now at the 41-yard line of the Red Tornadoes. Just like that, the Warriors mount a little bit of a threat here at the 110 mark. Running down the field, McCollum rode his back for about seven Michael yards. Number 42, Sean McCollum. First down, Warriors. First down, Warriors. Ball's placed on the Tornado's 41-yard line. Back into the eye. This time, the guy split right and left. And we go to Steele. And Steele's got to the some outside. He got past Demko. Stiff arm right there. Yeah, nice, nice tackle. tackle. Down there. That? We'll see who comes off the bottom. That was a nice Haynes? Maybe Haynes. Looked like one of yeah. Haynes' tackles, and it was. But he picked up about uh, seven yards on the play. It's going to bring up second down and three. And the threat now with under a minute to play, the ball is set down at the Red Tornado 34-yard line. And timeout Montourzel, their final timeout of the half. And now those two timeouts did come back to yes, Honda early did. on in the, in the, in the half here as they are now out of timeouts, I believe. Yes, they have they to should be, be. They yeah. are out. This shows one on the scoreboard, but they are out of timeouts. I'm confident that that's the way it is. So a timeout on the field, 44 seconds left in the, in the regulation part of this ball game. The score, 0-0, but the Warriors mounting a attack at the Red Tornado 34-yard line. Again, the defense has to uh, step up here. They've done it all night long and, and have done an outstanding job since the opening kickoff. Either, either the, the Warrior yeah. coach is gonna have <laughs> yeah, to put yeah. a helmet on or he's gonna have to get out of the huddle. I don't know why they don't call it for delay a game. Because, you know, the whistle's up and. All right, we go into a split backfield now. Three guys are out to the left of the formation. He looks down at the left of the formation, but he sees the opening to the right. He looks downfield and he has a man, Sillo, and Sillo completes it inside the 10 at the nine yard line. He was and now way. there's no timeouts left, so they got to set the clock to get the, to the yard markers you, down. Tell you what, he was Where's over the Warriors? over the yard marker. He was over the line, the line of, of scrimmage. scrimmage when he threw that. The Red Tornadoes Everybody are, the was the Red standing are arguing there. this. They line up right away and they spike the ball to stop the clock. Yep. The exactly. ball is is sitting down at 
I can't really. Is it the eight? About the eight? I can't tell where it yep. is for sure. Let me get him. It looks like the eight yard line where he's where, where the he's line standing. judge is standing. He's standing in the right there. spot. It is the eight. Yep. It's it's first or second and goal from the eight yard line here with 35 seconds left to play in the ball game. And remember, the field goal is a threat here for the Warriors. That was unbelievable. That was a, He was so far past the line of scrimmage when he threw that ball and nobody even called it uh, with those striped shirts on. But he in an I formation, McNamara in front of Sillo. Carey goes in motion. They're going to come to the middle of the field and a flag flies. And Carey is whoa, whacked down by Haynes. <laughs> Haynes buries Carey. Now, a flag flew down, and it looked like it was a All motion right, penalty. Probably a motion. If I was guessing. Ooh, Haynes came up and. <laughs> yeah, Haynes buried Oof. him, but it go, it's going to go against the Warriors, but it, unfortunately it stops the clock. The Red Tornadoes we'll say, no, we don't want it, yeah. so start the clock. 29 seconds on the clock here. Now they're going to have to. Loss of, it's, it, down it's third goes down to now. third down. It's third down, and. The clock just got wound in, and now the oh, the Warriors are a mess now. They're, well, they see, have they a have mess. No they don't know who to outs. put on the field, who, what to do with it. So they're going to snap the ball, and he he's he's aiming for the uh, one play. He's aiming for the uh, field goal. Yep. So they had a heck of a time at the last minute there, and the game's going to come down to a field goal attempt. There's 19 seconds on the clock. They'll place the ball down at the it's at the 11 yard, yard line. line. Right. Yep. He's going to put his tee down Not at the around the 19. 18, let's say the 18. He's at the 18. Right? Number yep. 19, Chad Jacobson to attempt a field goal. So what is that, a 28-yard field goal? 28-yard field goal. And a stoppage of play by the by the refs as the Red Tenails call timeout. So a 28-yard field goal attempt with 19 seconds left on the clock and a scoreless football game here in Montoursville. And what an interesting set of events, but it was set in motion by the Red Tornadoes in that awful set of downs yep. right before. This is what set this whole thing in motion here. And now they're going to hang on and see if they can block or stop a field goal attempt by the Warriors. Jacobson standing out there by himself. <laughs> he's just looking at the goal Let post Let him there. think about it. And he's uh, wondering. And I remember they tried one a little while ago from 31, and the Red Tornadoes blocked it. Morgan came in and blocked the, the – uh, Field goal attempt, it'll be an all-out attempt, but what you have to be careful is you don't rough the kicker yeah, or the you holder do that. or you'll be in serious it trouble. Will be first down. 19 seconds on 19.9 actually on the clock here in Montoursville as the Red Tornadoes now get lined up and get ready to play defense against this. Kicking from the hash mark. Against this uh, field goal attempt that I'm cleaning his shoes off there. <laughs> And here it goes, folks, for the game. Jacobson. And the Red Tornado said we'll use all of our timeouts. Or no, that's the, yep. that's the yeah. Yes. Timeout they call timeout, timeout, and that will be the last Red Tornado timeout of the half. So now nobody has any timeouts, and the next time they line up, they're going to absolutely kick it. Hard to believe it's coming down to this in the last seconds of the game, but you knew it was. We said it, we thought it, we knew it, it did it, and now here it is. But unfortunately, you know, the turn of events right here, uh, you know, you would expect something to happen with the kids and, and have a mistake by the kids. That, that pass play was definitely not by the, the boys that were on the field. He would, the quarterback was deaf. Jacobson was definitely over the line of scrimmage when he threw that ball. Well, unfortunately, in high school football, it makes no difference whatsoever. Yep. All that makes a difference now is a foot. And that's the foot of Jacobson. He's the quarterback, the punter, the kickoff guy, and the field goal attempter. And he'll do it all here now as they get lined up. Sillo, I'm sorry, no, not Sillo, 23 down there I think the number is. No, not 23, there. it's down, it's up. And it is good. And it no, is good. It is good. And the Montoursville Warriors have scored with 14 seconds left in the game. It's 3-0 Montoursville, and that pretty much, unless we run it back, will be the end of the game. Yep, that, and that, I'll tell you what, just made it over the goalpost. It, it just 
had enough to make it. It's good. It's three points up on the scoreboard. Red Tornadoes will line up to take the kickoff. Fourteen point one seconds left. Well, the Red Tornadoes are going to look back at this and see a slew of drop passes. That last set of downs that you know just went completely haywire on them and set them up for yep. a mess. A bad punt at the right at the end didn't help any. Penalties. And things just <laughs> spiraled downward from there, and that's how quickly it happens in a tight game. Number 32, James Haynes. So Haynes will go deep for the Red Tornadoes. Jacobson, again, will do the kickoff duties for Montoursville. And number 21, Justin <clears throat> Pulowski. Pulowski will go down alongside of Haynes. <clears throat> Kick it deep, it bounces in front of Haynes, it gets behind Haynes. Haynes is gonna have to pick it up quick there, and he does finally, and Haynes is trying to head to the sideline. He turns up field, and he is brought down by the Warriors, and there is seven seconds left in this football game, folks, in a District 4 quarterfinal matchup here. The Warriors, with a three-point lead, courtesy of a field goal with 14 seconds left. The Loyal Sock Hotel and Lycoming like Physical Therapy. Now the Warriors will go into deep back defense and they'll guard against anything long as you would expect. The ball sitting around the Red Tornado 22 yard line for Wachileski as he steps up in the shotgun formation. Steck centers the ball. Wachileski looks downfield. He has a man there. <laughs> the old hook and ladder to, to Pulowski and Pulowski still on his feet. Pulowski coming towards the sideline here, and Pulowski's got himself a nice run, but that's the end of the game. He takes it out to the 49-yard line. The Red Tornadoes fall to the Montoursville Warriors 3-0 here on a muddy Montoursville field. Tough game. Tough game played by, by uh, both teams here. Uh, some great defense all night long on both sides of the field. <coughs> If you love a defensive game, this was the one you wanted to watch. That's that's for sure. Oh, absolutely. Not much offense on either side. Uh, the only threat coming by Montoursville on uh, the six-yard line, they fumbled. Tornadoes recover, and that was about the deepest. And Tornadoes uh, were were steadfast in their defensive play tonight. Real quick for Montoursville, 38 rushes for 156 yards, three of 13 passing for 46 for 202 yards of total offense, 10 first downs, and obviously the big play, the 28-yard field goal by Jacobson to make this a 3-0 win for Montoursville. For Mount Carmel, 27 rushes for 50 yards. Marcus Wasileski was 11, for 23, of, 11 of 23 for 123 yards for a total offense of 173 yards and seven first downs. Eight first downs, I'm sorry. Um, good year, bad year, take it any way you want. Uh, played hard, we didn't quit. We just couldn't seem to make the plays when we had to had to make them tonight. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's exactly. We had some drop passes. We, we took ourselves out of the game a little bit, but they played a great defense. I mean, 50 yards is 50 yards. If you hold somebody like us to 50 yards, you did something right. Uh, I think we had some chances there on and off. Not a lot. There was not a lot of opportunity here tonight. It's a very tight game uh, defensively, as you said. I thought the, the real teller of this game was what I said were the mistakes made right at the end in our last series of downs. And then a poor punt gave them a little bit more field position than we would have liked. And then, as Wayne said, you know, a very questionable call from the line of scrimmage where he threw the ball from. We'll never know that until we see it on film on Wednesday. But, you know, that's the, the, ball, the ball that puts them down into the uh, eight-yard line. And uh, although they almost screwed it up at the end when they couldn't get the right team on the field and, 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 and run out of timeouts, they were able to just have enough savvy about themselves to get a field goal attempt. We called uh, two timeouts in a row, tried to, you know, to, to, to salt it away for him and, and get him nervous, but he didn't. He put it through. I mean, it wasn't too far from being not good, but he got it under, over the goalpost, over that line, and uh, it's a 3 nothing game. So the Red Tornadoes, a team, as we told you earlier, with uh, six seniors, 
that will be leaving. Only six. The rest of this team comes back. It's a junior-laden team by a long shot. When you see there's mostly juniors on this team. You've got some excellent players coming back next year with Pulowski, obviously a guy to watch. Uh, DeMarco comes back next year. Uh, Wasileski, of course, comes back. Moroz comes back. You know, they'll all be back next year, so it'll be interesting. Uh, Morgan comes back. A good nucleus of, of players here. Yeah, so. there's a good nucleus coming back, and I'm sure Mike's real excited about that. But right now, it, this is going to eat at them for a while and play as well as we did defensively. And, and to come away short, hand, short on, in this game is going to hurt for a long time, I think. Uh, hopefully it'll motivate the kids to come back and, and put this thing all back together next year. And uh, I'm sure that they'll do what they have to do to get here. Well, guys, that's it here from Montours on a soggy, cold night. I am uh, Warren Altimore along with my cohort for the season, Wayne Brokenshire. Yeah. And, of course, you were listening to Jose Gonzalo in his 501st <laughs> game here. And uh, that's a big time. I just wanted to say that on air. Congratulations to Jose. That's a dedication you don't see very often. And, of course, he told me that it was there was one game there that ruined that. It's actually 590 out of 591 now with this game. Oh, really? Yeah, one game screwed up the whole thing a little bit. So, I mean, talk about seeing a lot of football. He has seen it all here from Mount Carmel area, at least in anyone's memory around here. So, and that's why when you have a question, you go to Jose and he answers it without even blinking. So, <laughs> without even looking in the book. We're, we're very happy and very pleased and privileged to have him on this team with us and making sure that we get as much of it right as we can. And that's a tall order for anybody to make sure we get things right. All right, again, I am Warren Altimore with and Wayne Brokenshire here along with Jose and, of course, the entire WKMC-TV football crew will be signing off for the year here. We remind you that WKMC-TV will be telecasting all the fall sports this year, wrestling, girls, boys, basketball, uh, you know, so stay tuned for that. And, of course, all the special events and academic stuff that uh, the, the uh, station puts on throughout the week. Uh, try to pay attention to the newspaper. A lot of times it will be listed in there and uh, watch these kids produce one of, one of, if I would say, the finest high school production crew in all of Pennsylvania. So, again, a privilege to work with them. We will see you all next year on the football field. Good night. Take care. This has been a presentation of WKMC-TV Sports.